one and all to the RLCS 2024 Europe Open Qualifier Day 3 Double Elimination Bracket for Grid Serve Resolve. I hope you're all having a lovely time. I'm joined by Talacto. Talacto, I hope you're having a lovely time. I hope you've had a lovely day. What have you done today? So good. Knocked it out the park. I drove home from Wales. I've been driving, you know, I've been recharging, grid serving, ready for today to make up for the events of last weekend because things didn't go as we'd have hoped and we need to make sure we stand steadfast in a difficult day like today. Yeah, it wasn't ideal last week now is it was it last week yep. it feels it like it was like longer ago a long time mm. um but yeah it, it wasn't ideal but we just use this opportunity to reset and regain and i guess we regather our resolution res, 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 yeah. our resolve yes literally our our resolve <laughs> now now of course you guys can't actually see what's going on on boot camp right now but i actually have a permanent feed i can see the boot camp room and i can see jeff Straight massaging in the shoulders of Luis, getting him in the zone. There is so much Beautiful pressure sight. on today. And you in chat, you lovely, lovely individuals are in the right place to keep up with the action. I'm actually going to tweet that. Uh, that's a good tweet. Twitter. Um, you can keep talking. You're self-promoting your own tweet. Yeah, go check, out my, can my, see go check out my tweet uh, at actually months. Yeah. We've got already Demphis in the chat supporting Resolve as well. You should know Demphis months. He actually invented the Demphis double, which isn't a coin term Amazing. yet, but it should have been. Not yet. It's what we kind of call the basketball double. You know, when you hit it into the ground and it comes back up and you hit it a second time. First player I ever saw do that, and he did it literally early 2016. So if it happens Amazing. today, we will be calling it a Demphis double. I'm still tweeting. Incredible. That's no I'm problem whatsoever. Incredible. Again, if you want to go and see this amazing quick t tweet, <laughs> I couldn't nearly said something completely. Actually months on Twitter. By actually chance. months on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. Go check well, it out. Well, my tweet actually announcing that we are live brought back the Tylac room <laughs> of days gone by. If you know, you know. Our bracket for today is certainly something you should also be familiar with. But in case mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm, not, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. indeed, our first opponents are named Top cougars now they are a dangerous trio of relating wave acro and toxic coached by gregan they may not feel too familiar because they didn't quite make the swiss stage of qualifier one albeit they certainly feel hard done by by not they were one game away twice losing to vitality 3-1 and then in lowers 3-1 to sa the roster of course of tho and mike boy now playing with techos so to say they're capable is certainly an understatement. There is some interesting histories between the players and the teams here. They've played against each other frequently and, of course, are very familiar with each other. So we come in as favourites and there is still, in addition to that, I think, months, a level of expectation. Yeah, and not to mention there's also some sort of uh, in insidious off-season shenanigans between some of the players who were perhaps going to team with each other and then didn't for whatever reason. So, so some extra, extra stuff in there for us. Uh, of Yeah, of course, that's who we're going up against right now. Our, our goal for today is to win this next game or this game immediately in front of us and then win another game that would qualify us straight into next week. However, I think we should talk about the other possibility, the very the scant possibility of potentially losing one of those two games that are ahead of us. If we were to lose right here, right now, in the first game, we would go down into a bracket that there's not a whole lot of massive names in there. Not, not really recognizable names unless you've delved into the bubble scene. There's a whole lot of bubble warriors, a whole lot of gatekeepers down there and what i like to call banana peel teams but if we win this first game and then we lose the next game that's when we go into i mean the ground the floor is littered with freshly eaten banana peels at that point we would be going into a bracket with m point uh then patankos which is steak casa kaka and lasa sorry and then that's just that's just the ones that are down there now that's just the teams that are down there right now there's other teams that are going to lose in the in the upper bracket to drop down there, and they 
that that lower bracket has the potential to get absolutely insane and i'm frankly terrified of it so i think we just need to go ahead uh and beat the the team in front of us top cougars and then either moist or solary whoever we come up against easy i agree that is the only preferential option now it would also be an improvement on the first qualifier of course back what in historically what most would call the first regional of the split if they're still using the last two seasons terminology we did win then lose having to wait at the end of that lower bracket before advancing quite comfortably but i don't want to have to wait even if we do advance comfortably because i can't see things being all too preferential for us should we go down but that's a reality like you say that we have to be ready for and i think all of the players know that very much as you can see them looking to get set up i can see tad's talking to them as noah's relaxed he's not yet in his chair so i know the game is yet to start but everyone's mm. checked in and both teams imminently ready to go yeah i'm actually loving this like direct feed into the boot camp it's it's pretty it's pretty nice again you guys can't see it unfortunate for you <laughs> that's just unlucky i guess but but we can and i can see the huge bottle of unhealthy drink that noah yeah, Saki is currently consuming the, we won't talk about the the, the the brand but it's certainly a a refreshment of some variety uh that you know i can think of a couple people wouldn't agree with you know under the under the resolve umbrella i do i do just want to Clarify, it is a non-alcoholic beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Although there is a thing called Bulmer's Peak, which... Um, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Bulmer, Steve Bulmer, I think, coined it, since it's named after him. Uh, he's one of the founders of Microsoft, I think. Owns the, I want to say, the Clippers? I the didn't L know the LA that. Clippers? Yeah, um, and there's the Bulmer, Bulmer's Peak, which I, I'm not going to go delve too deeply into right here, but uh, it's an interesting theory. Yeah. Uh, and it's been known to have some good effects on my ranked play. Well, that's just a promotion when realistically we should be talking about grid serve. But I think we're probably <laughs> going to look to start into the game because I imagine the players, they're there. They look set up. And I don't know if there's any warm-ups for these. I don't think there is historically in qualifiers no, months. not in the qualifiers. I reckon they'll be heading straight into our first best of five of the afternoon. Let's hope it's short and sweet because of course a reminder this is the top cougars roster coached by gregan acro toxic and relating wave you're joining us in game one it's good to get some action underway if i'm completely honest it, uh, you know I've, I've been watching some of the north american rocket league and it just it doesn't feel like peak gameplay if you ask me it feels substandard in my eyes so watching this it's good we're gonna we got it we got a team of good players to go up against we're starting with a bang and we're gonna be put under the pump pretty quickly i think but i think it's a good way to start the day at a high pace a high level there's no adjusting to higher paces and higher levels uh later we're just starting Ooh. right from the get-go that was a bit of a whiff out of acro a delay on the shot and it's a first goal to grid serve resolve who haven't left the opponent's half since we tuned in. That's the sort of start we need, months, and it's the start we've got him. Love that. Love that. Nice little play off the sidewall and a opening goal in the first 90 seconds. And when we talk about finding the pace of play and, and acclimatizing, it's now top Cougars that are going to have to do exactly that if they want to acclimatize to us, if they want to get back into this game. And I think, did I call them endpoint already? I think it's because relating wave that could be why but anyway it's a that's a that's a whole nother thing i think i accidentally no. called him endpoint no all right maybe i just no. thought of them as endpoint of course endpoint are lurking in a, as a potential lower bracket opponent but no we won't even talk about them because we will not disappoint in this clean upper run if noah makes a great interception and he does because, of course, one would expect the winner of this series to be playing against Moist. Though Solary certainly not easily beaten themselves. No, oh, the clear opportunity down to Luis. P, who's picked up the boost, but can't do too much with it. A little bit of time here. That's an easy beat from Noah, but Toxic's there. Razier's reset. We've seen him so strong in those positions. It wasn't the best carry of his life 
on this particular occasion and might actually culminate in a goal against. But Razier's picking up the ball in our half and having a little bit of a free chance to, to push the dribble forward into the air. It's a dangerous proposition for any opposing defense. Likewise with Acro having a little pop into a dribble, but right now nothing doing after that first goal going in. I think we're looking the more threatening, although Cougars, nice. top Cougars definitely have had an opportunity or two to get to eke out an opportunity like here. Just about oh. an open net created by a bump attempt, but it didn't come through for top Cougars. But they are pushing forward with uh, some frivolity right now with some fervor. Very much so. It was the second critical defensive hold from Noah Saki, but he can't make a third as the pass central to relating wave. We get caught on the backboard and on the back foot. It's well played by Top Cougars who pressed, as you said, this last minute, and they finally show some reward for it. Yeah, happy to see it. <sighs> 93 seconds left on the clock. Hopefully, hopefully we can find... A little bit more of what we started the game with because, oh, the acclimatization that I talked about has happened for Top Cougars. They might have an opportunity here. Big demo coming through and it's opened up the net, but the shot from Acro is slightly wide. He looks to follow. That just about bounces off the ceiling and in. Now it's Toxic with a free shot. That save from Noah Saki. And suddenly, Grid Serve Resolve struggling to hold on, scrambling on defense in a game where I feel like the majority of the time we've been on offense. But this last two minutes or so, it's been a bit of a struggle at times. Yeah. Players, the intensity felt through the bottom presses as Luis just about winning that race in front of the top of the orange box in the final minute. A soft layoff, but intercepted by a relating wave. His ears up for the backwards interception of himself. Very nice. Can we look to counter? Razir's is up again with the boost in relating wave to challenge, but the flip reset underneath. He didn't get it, but he also couldn't quite squeeze it past Toxic as three commit at the front post months. An opportunity for resolve as this next loose ball. Where will it end up? Toxic's nose, unfortunately, the answer. Oh, chance though. Noah looking to push that underneath with the 50. Luis P now. Reset, gives him options. He does go low and he punches it home just underneath Toxic, who is languishing on the crossbar, waiting for something with a little bit more elevation, a little bit more power. The shot had neither, and with a little bit of help from our friends, that being the opposition defense, Luis P able to punch home a late go-ahead goal. And that's just about wanting it more from Luis. Maybe if NA wanted it too, they'd have boot camps, but Resolve... All together, holding on zero seconds. The requirement and a massive interception there at the dead. I think it was Razier's. I didn't even ca quite catch the name tag as it happened for an all-in pull on opening 2-1 win. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. It was, a, it was a hard fought one. I thought we were comfortable early on, but Top Cougar's too good to just sit there and let us have our way. So a bit of a fight back from them. So grid serve resolve able to fend them off, push them away, and punch ourselves into the lead in this series. A best of five, and we've got a cheeky little head start. And an all-important one, I'm saying. That's that's massive considering how they were trying to unsettle the grid serve resolve trio with a lot of physicality. In fact, you'd have seen six demos, but as a kickoff start things off, mm. that certainly won't be smooth sailing for long, and we've given ourselves a test. Yeah, that, that hurts. It's always rough just starting a game with a kickoff goal. Not quite as rough as getting a hard-earned uh, battle uh, to get an opening goal and then having a quick kickoff goal go, go against you to cancel it out, but it hurts a fair bit anyway. And uh, this is awkward for Luis, who deals with it fairly well. I think right now, if you're wondering, chat, what the uh, the extra noise is, I believe it's Noah Saki's microphone. <laughs> Or one of Noah Saki's microphones. Well, we can hear some cool... I, I mean, I like hearing the boot camp, but obviously the, 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 the intensity of what the buttons are being pressed with is, is almost... It's, it's making worrying. me anxious. I can't imagine what they're feeling oh, as players, of course. I bet it's his with controller the sort of pressure mic. On, it is definitely the controller buttons as unfortunately unable to prevent a second goal for Top Cougars. And what I was going to yeah. raise is this gets humble bundled in. Um... <laughs> is how much of a complicated history we have with Game 2s. 
at the moment, months, over the past mm -hmm. couple weekends. Um, we've had a couple absolutely massive series that could have really boosted the stock to the sort of level we know this team and roster is capable of had these Game 2s have gone the other way. Now, right now, this Game 2, thankfully, far from over. Um, and usually the painful ones that I'm alluding to have been close and had inf unfortunate events in the final minute. But this is in the mm. first minute, so maybe this is just ironing out and getting used to the change. Yeah, I mean, I'm always here for ironing out kinks, exploring them and finding new ways forward. Um, for sure. So, yeah, I think that's what the lads should do right now, although they're going to have to do it on the back of some sketchy defending, has to be said. Razier's was very awkward on the post there, but Luis P came in to help, and we had a chance to transition there, but it's it's stopped. Noosaki now, flip reset under one, a chance to oh get it over the Whoa. other. The follow-up, I didn't see who it was. Razier's maybe coming through and punching it on target, but ball most of the way over the line is not enough. Doesn't make it the whole way. And we stay at two goals down. Top Cougars, though, showing some gaps. And I got to say, it's Noah Saki oh. right now that's been creating them. Luis P creating a little bit of a gap there for the Top Cougars to, to find their way through on this yeah. particular occasion. That's a really tough passage for Luis. Downfield to keep the pressure up. Lost the 50 to ended up being forced soft central towards toxic who had an open run up field and they are of course just getting caught a little too close to the play couldn't get up it's a whiff but it's a costly one and three is a far taller mountain to climb yeah time ticking away although oh i thought that was gonna <laughs> go on target for a second there uh time is ticking but there's still plenty of it if we get a, a fairly quick goal i'm I'm st I'd still be hopeful of a comeback. We're not quite out of uncomebackableness yet. Definitely a word and a brief moment there. Hacker hadn't gone the way. Come non yeah, un un comeback uncomebackability. Un not uncomebackability. Amazing in Scrabble. Look at that pre-jump. Not enough though for Luis to oh, wrap fun. the Fennec around. Some nice little baits with a flip reset. We've had some clean passages, but they haven't really linked or chained together as you see a nice interception by Luis but it's then challenged the 50 neutral by Toxic although Noah feeds it back with a nice little flick up as the pop awfully high to Luis who had pre-jumped successfully Ooh. it's not generated a clean shot but it has wasted a lot of resources on the top Guga side but the bump on Razier's will stop him elongating that didn't know where you were going with elongating. No, yeah. no, no. You, you and ever since you talked about ironing out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah your mishaps. <laughs> your mind's Although been clearly not. somewhat elsewhere. It has Ooh. been. That's a Go shot on, and a finish. And I'm a believer. It's official. Hell post yeah. it. Maybe I'll log into at actually months and post it. But I am a believer. Twitter.com slash actually months. Does it even work anymore if you go to Twitter.com? It's it still, still Twitter.com. Like, it's nice. still Twitter.com. It's not X.com. It's literally Twitter. you really got to be real smart to make a decision like that. Toxic <laughs> will make a smart back pass. It's picked up by Raiding Wave, whose camera has a very intricate session of ex exaggerated mobility, is the correct way to describe that. Session of exaggerated <laughs> mobility yes. is a new phrase. That I've never I really hate it when before. that happens. <laughs> R slash new sentence right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the interception. Ooh. Ah, Wave does well. He does, does. well That's to reach catch. it. But Razier's, what a flip reset. Three players forced to commit in the final minute as now Luis can come onto the ball but isn't able to beat the first who's well positioned to play the spoiler. But Razier's now coming down back of the spoiler from the Fennec. Unable to get back to it. And now Toxic able to roll the ball away and kill so much valuable time off that clock. Oh, Razier's is just on the ball more often than not at this point. The musty too much on it. Toxic couldn't get up to it because he'd been bumped off the backboard. And the counterattack oh. is probably going to seal the deal. Just a little too much oomph on that flick from Razier's. It was a close mm. affair and it would have put us right back into contention. But uh, look, so gang two, it's not gone our way, but I have to say, <sighs> yeah. 
yeah. Razier's stepping up and sort of going, all right, I'm going to take over a little bit, lads. Step back. I, I'm here for it. Mm. I, I think... Uh, I don't know if anyone saw the TikTok. It might have been what? on. It might have been on Jeff's TikTok, not the Resolve one. I don't know, know why, but Tadpole was basically saying that he wants these players to all be him in the pressure situations. If he wants all of these players to be the ones taking over the game when they need a goal, right now we haven't seen that. I don't think we saw that last week, and we've not seen it yet this week. But I tell you one player who's not hesitant whatsoever at saying that, you know, I'm him, and that's Razier's. That is true. You could say this game's 1-1. One, one. If you extrapolate and take out the immediate kickoff goal at the start and the costly whiff that, of course, made it three. That, unfortunately, you can't do, or else that would be a period of uh, mm. exaggerated max fi match fixing, if you could. Um, but mm. we don't need that. We're into game three of this match and there will be all the successful well-timed periods of exaggerated mobilities from <laughs> our grid serve resolve vehicles on the on. great plane that we describe the landscape of this matchup um which is capable as all the players are as working individually or as part as a team um, <laughs> what are you saying <laughs> i'm trying to hit the word count <laughs> I'm trying to follow along, and the, I just oh. couldn't. I zoned yeah. out, like, twice. <sighs> That's true. All right. Oh, almost a little pinch pass. <laughs> All right, let's go the other direction. Okay, talk about a time um, where you've been faced with a challenge that you've had to overcome. I was going to say, let's go the other direction and try to beat it as, as succinct as possible. Okay. Um, uh, okay. <clears throat> Doink. Clearance. Backboard touch. Pre flip. Transfer. Backboard mm. touch. No flip. Ooh. Pinch of tent. Good challenge. Oh no. Oh, open net. No, let's just go, go with oh no. That's more succinct, I think. <laughs> oh no. As that wasn't as fun as I thought it'd be. Centered as a critical beat. Luis was not ready for Razier's to not win that challenge. And of course, I, I doubt Razier's was expecting. To not win that challenge, but it's a clean beat for the top Cougars who, for the first time this series, will edge their noses in front. But as long as we're not giving them a whiff of an actual win, I don't mind. But of course, mm. we haven't had a good history in the one game this series where we've had to play from behind. So it's time mm. to rewrite history, which we all like doing. And the good news is it's a brief history, so it shouldn't take too long to... Exactly. You know, it's you a history textbook out. that's like three yeah. pages long. A third yeah. of it's the contents page. Literally, yeah, that wouldn't make that's mathematically viable, I think. Literally is in like it. literary. Like actually, though, like literally, literary. No, lit literary. Literarily, we have a literary interest. Relating in wave, history. clearing it away, should be handing the ball over. Is toxic. Oh, it was relating wave with the demo. That's oh. nearly just gone in, and it's it's it made has. its way through. I don't know what that is. I said I, I talked some smack about NA Rocket League earlier, but like, oh. <laughs> like what is this re replay? It's actually a decent read in the end. That's the I fourth agree. and fifth man for Top Cougars being our crossbar and our post. Mm. Who clearly, um, after a kickoff follow up that is well saved by Razier's dodging the demo attempt that came in tandem with that shot briefly off the start and that's an important demo if only we could wrestle the possession off of acro who again won that crucial challenge this has been a game of moments thus far but of course still within touching distance whereas last time we found ourselves go to three as noah round with that one bounce finds himself sent back and waiting on the support of luis who is up and upside down to play this patient block it was a good 50 50 it set up razier's for one of his own and a punch to the low far post by Luis P, who's had some luck and success with low shots, both previously and today. We've got a bit of a breakaway chance. Acro alone, but a stone cold fake. It's put him in position to clear, but his teammates have other plans. And Noah Saki coming through, looking to punish the mistake by relating wave. Razier's off the ceiling. He's got a flip. He's going to look to pass it, I think. It's a soft shot on net. Shot nonetheless, and we've got a bit of a chance to apply some pressure. The lading wave, not a whole lot of boost, so chooses to boom. 
We are down the grid server resolve and Noah Saki's not getting up to that for no apparent reason. And it's toxic. Just just popping it in. That was not fun to watch. I agree. I think it was a double flip reset attempt from Razir's, but you could just never click the dodge button fast enough fast three enough, times yeah. in a split second for that. And that's have to try these things, but they're really not working out. And this is what I would call the third kickoff chance that has been converted upon in the immediate following seconds by Top Cougars. And there's one thing we can't be doing, months, and that's screwing the kickoffs out of advantage. It's suddenly a four-goal deficit. And barring a four-goal comeback, we're looking at one game away from lower bracket. And it's this early in the day. Yeah, and I, look, I've just... I've just trash talk to endpoint about being in the lower bracket so lads if you could not put us in the lower bracket immediately that'd be great um again if you want to see that trash talk go to twitter.com <laughs> slash actually months <laughs> um you're quoting yourself like like like, like some sort of bible entry or something it's yeah. like months the third or like ah. Uh, yeah, I can't even months 11.47. 11.47. Not as in that's the time it was posted, but that would be no. quite an earlier investment. Probably was this somewhere. This woodwork is cursed so far this series. I am not having it. Like, I'm just oh. not. Watch this go in off the post. It's actually yeah. out off the post. That's gonna be it's up now, it knows that we're conducting an independent investigation into the matter, uh. and it's suddenly looking to, you know... Make sure there was no... More like wood doesn't work. <laughs> Unless given the right price, clearly, um, that Top Cougars have been able to acquire in the past couple games. Um, that's, you know, that's a skill. I give them to, give that to them anyway. It's like the old fairground thing where you had to guess how many sweets were in a jar. Did you, did you ever yeah. do that? Yeah. I think yeah. I got really close one time. Got like second in the competition. So if you were first, that's kind of how the woodwork decides who it's going to mm. favor in the series. If you can yeah. guess how many sweets are in the woodwork jar, that gives you the buff, which at the moment has taken these from two very even contentious games to two games that have been a, a, a little bit out of reach. That I don't like to mm. say, but I think I have to admit. Yeah, we've not looked consistently good throughout those last two games in that I don't... We don't look like a winning team. I mean... There's some shots there, a lot of shots even, like 12. Um, but not a whole lot of them felt particularly threatening or menacing. Uh, I wasn't seeing a whole lot of scrambling going on from top Cougars. There wasn't a whole lot of pulling them out of position and just isolating one poor person on the back line and putting them under pressure. It seemed to be all relatively comfortable for top Cougars. So, need to make them uncomfortable. It feels, and this is the final chance to do so. If we lose here, we go down to the lower bracket and top Cougars go on to a qualification match. Uh, but if we win, we go to a nice game five. Uh, and we've been there a few times. Already. <laughs> yeah, we've, already. Had a, we've had some emotions already on game five. Yeah. I believe we are still searching for our first Champions Field win, actually, of the season. This would be a great time to get it. Am I mistaken in that? Sorry, I, think, I was looking. I was, I was on uh, Twitter. Are we, are we still searching for our first Champions Field win of the season? Because I think we are. As that's not the right person. Save by Luis. That he not finds the right as a backboard that. bump on the challenge oh, being hunted, but not being found. All importantly, last game of very much all timer from Acro on the defensive end. One that I reassuringly would like to think is hard to reproduce. Whether or not that's the case, though. We'll be finding out as Relating Wave finds himself with time only for Noah to shut the door twice. All right. Main event. We lost game five. Yeah, two losses in the main event. I didn't look at the uh, qualifier, but you're not wrong up to that point. Um, and right now we're not. Grid Serve Resolves not losing to this point. And that feels like a bit of an achievement up to now since we've conceded early goals in the last two games. Uh, but nearly... 90 seconds in and uh yeah all square i'm, I'm kind of this is all right this is, you know baby steps baby steps relating wave this doesn't hit way. those so you're not worried about them chilling this is that's an awkward the relating wave. it's 
are you trying to say that every player on the player's relating wave is some sort of deterrent for good execution? No. Okay. Well, Luis is up here, but that's not good mm. execution apart from anyone but Wave. You swapped him out the sky. That's a 50 from Raziz. A wedge from... <sighs> what the? Noah scoops in, but Acro's still there. Acro has been a, a pain, mm. I'll be honest. He's been the sort of thing that does, has demanded some sort of paracetamol or the best medicine of all time. Our Lord and Savior, Cowpole. Remember Cowpole? Rings a bell. Hold up. Rings wow. a bell. This this is what I'm talking about though. Like all the shots, they're not they're not uncomfortable. There's a defender there. It, it, we're not moving. We're not isolating. And then oh goodness, it's just not ideal. Luis P totally chilling there. Misses the musty, but might have a chance to threaten. Acro's awkward, so you pull out and pull away. Razier's can't get the bump, and Acro we will get that clear. And we this committed. is scary. We've committed very much. Acro left the ball behind, went for the demo, found it. And the open net was taken by Relating Wave, who, say what you will about his mechanical ability in the sky, isn't going to miss those when all four wheels are fully grounded. Yeah, Noah decided he wanted a piece of that. Ended up not even getting close. He'd committed, though, as temporarily third. Of course, Luis rotated in, and that's all good, but it's a 1v3 scenario. It's a pass, it's a demo, it's undefendable in his situation. A 1-0 scoreline of just over two minutes on the clock as Razier's. No flip reset, but a flip past one defender catching on the volley, trying to catch them off guard rather than playing the obvious bouncer to the backboard. But ultimately ended up being cleared, albeit we do have possession as a swat across but not turned on due to relating wave having the area covered means that Luis picks up the ball later, tries to bundle it through, and patience is required from Noah, who himself plays it out of the corner as he passes across for the shot oh. that's saved by a relating wave. How many times have we gotten to the last shot and it's been saved away? And now two defenders close to the ball. It's scary. Now, if we do escape without being counterattacked upon up to now, Razier's... Gets a challenge, which delays things somewhat. Nosaki's alone briefly and does enough to delay the oncoming attack. However, full tank of gas for top Cougars. They've got an opportunity to put some pressure on and really take time off the clock, especially with Luis and Noah both missing consecutive challenges. Razier's doing his best, but 25 boost means he has to boom it away. Nosaki trying to drop it down. A minute remains. And a double commit in the corner for top Cougars. Acro gets up and will stop any opportunity for us to take advantage. And in fact, bears down on our net. There are 45 seconds remaining to lack, though. And if we don't score here, we are what going the? to the lower bracket. But well, we are scoring here because Toxic, he does manage to stop Luis on the backboard. And it's a clearance that goes over the head of his ears. So it looks like we're going back for now, but there's still time. As Vizier's in the corner, just about beaten out by Acro, who has been the player this series. As now Razier's to the corner. Around one for the bump. Oh. Not quite found as Acro stands tall to make the block. And Relating Wave goes downfield for the cushion off the backboard. The dagger not found, not placed. But three defenders required for the response. And now Luis has a dribble to make. But it's patient from Acro, who calls him to the wall and sends him right on back. Hacking again. We need a miracle as the ball will stay up for now. But Acro is there again and again and again and again and again. Oh. But it's not. Noah, the flick. The relating wave. Luis, surely, surely it can't stay up. I want it to, but it's not. It's down. And the winner is one. And that one team that's done it is Top Cougars. Back to back weeks, months, they win their first series of the double elimination but this time we're the victim yeah that one that one hurt that one hurt i'm not gonna lie felt good to start it was a solid game the first open the opening game was solid felt like the better team the majority of the way through game two felt good to start as well but then slowly surely top cougars seemed to catch up and then surpass and from then on never really got a foothold back into it i think like you said acro just kind of went a little bit crazy at times he felt like he was everywhere and uh i think it has to be said we felt a little bit disjointed 
um, throughout that second half of the series. I thought there was a little bit of hope here and there, but Top Cougars just, they did what they had to do. They got an early lead. They got some kickoff goals, which really helped their cause. At one point, they doubled their lead in a matter of seconds, going from 2 nil to 4 nil with a kickoff goal. And uh, yeah, it was just, it just felt like a tough series. And like you said, that woodwork sort of... Uh, felt like it contributed somewhat <laughs> it really did all i can say is i will look at the positive and that is that even though we can't factually back it up most would agree that losing gives us an easier qualifying game even though you'd rather go two and oh um and of course running the risk of losing too moist means playing quite possibly endpoint in lowers mm. who are both teams that placed higher than the fast forward or magnifico we'd be due to play at the end of the bracket we drop into albeit we have to win three matches now to qualify on the bounce, of which our next will be up against the egg roster of Foxy, mm. Smashy, and Squixel, a game that will be ready when we've dropped and placed. So unless you've got anything to say, Munts, I think nah. we should look look towards it. We shall. All right. Nothing to well, say. We're not Nothing. alone. Let's dip out. Redemption Let's get out. falling 3-0 to Sizen. Whiskey drink. Growly. A lot of interesting results. If you check out the bracket, We'll head to a short break, but we will be back with you the second our match is ready.
welcome back. Sorry about the wait. Um, I was on the toilet, so the players couldn't start until I finished. And we're in game. Bang. Look at that. Beautiful. Clean. Um, that's just how we do it. As clean as I am right now. I took my time. I should hope and so. took plenty of care. You got the... Everything's, uh, everything's good. Hygienic. call it the, the wash... I can't even remember what it's called. How could I forget? B-Day? B-Day? That's it. B-Day. It's a good day for a B-Day. A bidet with a good day. It makes it, yeah, it is a good day if you have the bidet. We're playing Egg, Squixel, Smashy, and Foxy. Foxy, you might be aware of because of the main event run he made with uh, Team Vertigo. I want to say that he did well with animals as well. I could be making that up, though. Um, no, I think you're making that up. I could be. Either way, Squixel, Smashy, they're some of the players that I'm talking about when I say sort of the gatekeepers or or bubble warriors it's generally if you're going to make it through a qualifier you, you play these kind of players a lot so you're gonna have to they play have them here a they're a lesser banana benchmark. peel team that's it a, a bubble, bubble benchmark. benchmark that's such a that's great one that's awesome Hold up. Pee. <laughs> that's the sort of goal to make a comeback through the lower bracket. That's how you start things off. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I feel like uh, Luis had a couple misses in the last series, so that should get his confidence back up. A couple misses that led to goals, I want to say. Um, I think Noah had a big one as well. Razier's is perfect, so I'm Another. sure he didn't. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Luis P. <laughs> He's absolutely <laughs> cold. His camera, oh my he didn't even, there was no reaction, no emotion. This, nah. this is back to business. You know, he was having Brody a pretty lazy noticed. Sunday last series, but he is back in the office early on this rise and shine Monday morning. And, oh, that's a demo. He's, he's, he's paid the price. No longer on the pitch and the ball's yeah. in the back of the net. That's a quick transition. I mean, take Louis P off the, off the pitch and we just, <laughs> we capitulate. <laughs> he's that good right now. It's just 1v3. Yeah. He did appear to be a bit of a saint. It was a surprise to the whole team when he was demolished and taken off the field. Egg getting one back in already one of the more explosive high scoring starts we've seen thus far today. And as long as that continues to stay in our favor, I don't mind one bit because this is a lower bracket and there's a certain release of tension, to be honest, that we couldn't be more on the edge as th than we are now. And we of course know that should we win this series, it's most likely, yes, top eight in Europe finishing last event. Moist Esports waiting for yeah. us in what is not even a qualifying game. Very cool. Yeah, super cool. The good news is we have beaten them before. Indeed. Um, quite handily, I want to say as well. Joyo went Very. crazy and we still managed to, to pretty comfortably take the victory. Uh, right now looking less comfortable than we were in the opening 30 seconds. Although Luis P still feeling confident. He was on the backboard in the sort of the allot stance, I want to say, uh, earlier, just waiting for the pass. And I, I thought he was going to go for it, but he, he opted to look for an assist himself that didn't come through because he had to rely on a teammate. Uh, but discomfort aside, we've not looked too threatened. We've just not looked to as easily pass through the defense. Although Luis on the ball again, the fake. Sets up a teammate nice. for the shot. He's going to remove a defender. It's a brief 2v3. We can't seem to make a, a shot happen immediately. And it's going to give Foxy a chance to take some pressure off, which he doesn't. He doesn't at all, Talak, though. I think we're just uh, already, from what I'm seeing, we're just making so many better decisions as we open up the champs for the Luis hat trick. Put the pass down. Look at that. That was lovely. Oh, I've got some good touches here as well. And then a fantastically picked out pass probably would have made it through behind the goalkeeper anyway but it's there to make sure of it that was that was lovely so, so if you keep an eye on chat are uh, you noticing yeah. what i'm noticing yeah, yeah, my thought is it. what if it is exactly 30 goals for us I mean, to qualify for main event that's that's that we've, we've got a mod we've got a mod cyber havoc if it's exactly 30 goals and we make main event yeah with 30. vip like, and mods are havoc um yeah that's if, that's if, i think that's fair if Cyber have stays there the entirety of the time and counts all oh, of our goals down, that's, exactly. the, that's the contract. He can't just Obviously, be like, oh, or else was... we'll lose count. <laughs> so we yeah, need yeah, yeah. But he can't come back tomorrow and have counted it off the stream and been like, oh, guys, where's my mod? No, no got to be here course. for it live. I would read 
the random, I'm assuming, German word out in the chat, but I don't know what it is, so I'm not mm, going to do no. that. I was really tempted to. It's all, in all caps, and that's that's a bit of a weakness of mine. I do love some all caps. not going to lie. I'm gonna, gonna translate. Now everything in all caps, because this is just game one, and as great as game one is seeming so far, and I will highlight, as I previously did before we interrupted me with another goal, um, is how much better the decisions have been. Can we score again? We I'm are playing tabbed. like, no, no, no. This is oh. last time. Is that we're not playing with a fear of making the wrong decision, like it felt like we were last series. There, there's no hesitation, and there's a real commanding feeling that we're playing like we're better than the opponents because we know we are, sort of thing. Mm. Um, that's Absolutely. no disrespect, but it's a capability that we have and didn't show last series because ultimately they ended up being better than us on the day. That's fine. That happens, but unfortunately, in a reality like this double elimination bracket, that now puts us on our last life. And as great as game one is, the point I'm trying to make is game one was pretty great last series as well, months. True. It's always game twos that has given us problems in this <sighs> past month. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. That would have been fun, that little, that little touch. For some reason, I thought we were on zero seconds then. I'm not sure why. We weren't. We're on 10 seconds remaining pretty now. Close. And looking comfortable. This was this was nice. I still, I still want to see this team, like engage a little bit of a killer instinct yeah exactly just punch it through like we've gotten to three nil a bunch of times but never really just kept on with the foot down outside of the earlier rounds of the qualification process so the day ones and twos and things like that um yeah. i, I want to see a day three like eight nil you know what i'm saying i um, mean Luis had that to be fair the three shots three goals three demos mm. that was concise and there's a little bit of a smile Edging out from him and Noah, as you see, Razier probably doesn't smile. As he's got an overwhelming upset he lead. didn't score the three goals. That is that is probably true, actually. Just fair. You should Just be happy fair. the hair is recovering after the barber's attack. True. Last week. <laughs> yeah. We've had a bit of a buffer now since then. Uh, he'll be able to go back to another barber soon and maybe get it a little bit, you know, tweaked up a bit. Yeah. Um, 67, by the way. 67% field domination. And wow. it felt that way as well. It, it really did. How do you reckon that's it, calculated? Just, just how territory. often the ball is in their half. That's yeah. literally it. That makes sense. Usually it is relatively close to 50-50. 67 yeah. is the highest that I've noticed since looking oh, at it. Ruziz with the catch. He picks up the shopping and he delivers it to your front door. This is lovely. He was upset that he didn't get on the score sheet because he didn't waste much time putting himself on it this time. That is lovely from the German taking control of that ball and just slamming it down in the faces of the defense. Love to see that. All right, now push forward and just put out a cheeky 8-0. That is the click and collect that we have been missing. This is how a game two should start after a dominant game one. This is the blueprint the tempo to set it's all about keeping it up though and a pinch will certainly do that given the altitude of the ball and a nice quick assertive challenge from Razier's. there's no room right now for egg to get their confidence going because we keep ramming more goals i'm here for it i'm absolutely here for it this is lovely by noah that last touch and the threat of a bump just there to stop any kind of challenge making its way towards that ball. Fantastic start again. And could this be, dare I say, the game two jitters being put to bed in front of our eyes? Literally never seen never seen us win a game two. Surely it must have happened, but I can't remember it. So therefore, it never has. This mm. is when it happens. This is Luis for the flip reset into return over the top. Double touch finished off by Razier's, not quite. The defense holds from Egg, and Egg, who is very much splattered on the floor currently. And you know what they say about Humpty Dumpty months. He never put himself back together again. True. Not even all the king's horses. All the king's there, men. There were so many horses and so many men. So many. Well, I guess it was probably like the same amount of horses as men no it was literally like cheltenham it was the grand national and they still couldn't put the egg back together again i don't know what that what that means it's okay you don't have to but it's i true. know that i know what a cheltenham is but i don't know the reference no it's fine 
Anyway, two minutes have passed. Two goals put past the egg defense. And uh, they don't look at the moment like scoring. Not been a time that I can remember that we've looked threatened. Any opportunity, any, any offensive moments shut down before they reach our goal mouth. Razier's threatening theirs right now. Smashy bearing down. Just about had an opportunity for a challenge that would have put his team in good stead to shoot. But instead, we make a save. Luis P playing it slow, waiting for the bump to come through. And Razier's left alone. He's got plenty of boost, but it's not a fantastic touch. So he'll just pass that off. And we pass halfway now as the ball gets mired down upon halfway on the field. That's a good shot from Squixel. Finds the angle over the top of Luis P. And this is what I mean. I want killer instinct. I want it to be 4-0 by now. So that one goal doesn't matter. But as it stands, they halve the deficit. And we're left with just yeah. a single solitary goal lead. I mean, uh, you've got to always play optimistic and with faith in your teammates. I get that. But I, I will say over these past couple of weeks, months, there's been a lot of overconfidently positioned and orientated goals conceded where we're just facing upfield in quite an aggressive position in a scenario where should the teammate goodness gracious lose the challenge or miss the ball we're basically just screwed for a two for one um mm. and it's like when you've got a 2-0 lead like you say you want that killer instinct you do want to play for the win because ultimately if you've not got faith in your teammates um winning the challenge then when are you going to have the faith in them but i'm just saying if you've got a 2-0 lead and you're the last man. It, it, when does that risk become not worth it? Because it, it has definitely bit us more oh times God. than I would care to see. As I have no idea how I've said all of that. And there's not been a goal. Double shots. Peppering. The egg net. Oh, there you go. Goal mouth. And finally, Razier's after all those ceiling touches and, and resets and double tap attempts. In the end, it's just a, it's just a bounce shot. <laughs> Yep. It could, the only way that could have been more simple is if he'd front flipped rather than put a slight bit of diagonal on it. Oh, uh, love that slight bit of diagonal. Slight bit of diagonal. Catch them in transition, desperate for the counter attack, because ultimately, if the only way Egg have shown themselves able to really, and as you would expect, be able to score, is either by catching a short handed on the counter or by just having an unforced slash force mistake. It's, it's really quite preventable and they was too keen to get on with the counter attack they left themselves exposed and Razier's just uh he did it all himself it was nice to see and all three of our players are capable of doing just that and we've shown already in game one we're capable of seeing out a two goal cushion so let's do it again or do you want to see more do you want to see killer instinct like that? i do because okay. right here late on in the game we know that egg are going to push forward and they do have the mechanical ability to threaten when they are throwing everything at the net and if they do find a goal here in this final 30 seconds it's going to be a nervy finish but if Noasaki punches this into the back of the net or sets it up for a Luis P double tap then we don't have to worry about it and it's exactly what happens Luis P finds a way through puts us three goals to the good and secures game number two Bosch finish it with a Bosch as you mean to go on I expect to see an early goal in game three again just like this second as we will win a game two here on the resolve pov stream and that is Historic. a milestone i think it might be all the all important one i'm not gonna do it but i'm sure if we did go back we would 100 percent find that we've never won a game two before i think you're 100 right you don't remember it i don't remember it so it doesn't exist we've never won a game two before this is the first time ever, and what a moment to do it. In the lower bracket, backs against the elimination wall, and we pop off. Just a cheeky one to go two games to the good in this best of five. One more game will put us through to the next round. Again, we've got to win three, three matches in a row here in this lower bracket. And uh, theoretically, they should get more and more difficult. And that's, that is still a scary proposition, but right now looking confident we'll see if we can keep that confidence as we move into what could be the final game of the series if we do manage to continue as we have been playing this series they're gonna write novels about that game too 
There's a double whiff mm. on the backboard. Bang! I told you. Bosch, as you mean to go on. And we continue with the early strikes. Egg just all over their face. That's what it's been <laughs> in the opening seconds. And I like that. I also like it. I'm a big fan. We are both into that. <laughs> sure are. That's another goal. Yes, Luis we are. B. Easy. He's not going to miss those. Fantastically put upon a platter by one Noah Saki. Luis P. Oh, he's even gone through for the bump on the absolute lack of defense that was in the net yeah. for Egg. That, and that, that ball is, going through. Yeah. As a kickoff straight from the oven of shame. Set at gas mark, egg on their face as it's 2 0. Beautiful, and oh. that's completely okay because literally totally every fine. game so far, egg have um, that they have you know scored a goal, which does unfortunately remind me of the fact months. Was, yeah, we haven't had a clean sheet, <laughs> we haven't had yeah. a clean sheet, <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't. Oh, oh my no. goodness, how can I what, remember? Wait, it's fine, we won a game was... two. We can have a clean sheet. It can happen. What, what was the score in game one of the last series? Oh, we, we won 3 1. It was not <sighs> a clean sheet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's still not happened, man. But we, like I'm saying, we won game. We literally won game two. So, yeah, we can do doesn't that. doesn't matter. Uh, look, again, baby steps, I think, is the name of the game today. Uh, with small improvements, incremental uh, adjustments. And we've done that. We've we've knocked one thing, one bogey out of the way, and that is winning a game two. Why not? Why not? Uh, next series be the series where we keep a clean sheet at some point. That's actually a gorgeous goal from Smashy. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's pretty nicely worked as well from Squixel, but he's just read that mm. dunk to perfection. Credit where it's due, but couldn't yeah. if you could not do that again, that'd be great. Smashy, thanks. Mm. Did you say you poached it? Off our defender. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, did he scramble to get there? Mm. 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 Did he? Yeah. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, yeah I do. No, oh, I do. He's, 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 he's sharp. Look at this read. Actually effortless. Actually effortless. I really tune was. in to my TV. I see Luis hovering. Floating as a side flip and a front post trip of the defense results in him literally just poodling through the air like R2D2 and headbutting it in an open net. I gotta ask though, what was Foxy doing <laughs> in the net? He get he, he up feels by side post. flipped, man. And yeah, oh, and then, then it was all just a, it's just a catastrophe. The sort of thing I was, that I was looking up just, at Louise. Yeah. And then I look down and Foxy's just looking uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, not, not his finest moment. It's the no. sort of moment that keeps you in the bubble. It's a painful one. one Sometimes it's So many like players that. can relate to when they're at a turning point of a series, a potential turning point, which, of course, this is the best game scenario outside of the first second of the game that Egg have been in thus far this series. And right now, it looks like it might get worse again because Noah, nearly uncontested on the shot, had to wrap around the 50. But you see he's back on the ball, and he did do that. So no, not for long. But the bump, as he's hunting, as immediately we're swarming all three players deep in the blue. We've got the lead already. This is this is a hunger, months. Mm. Crossing halfway, and we've spent what feels like the last two minutes, or, okay, last minute in the egg half on their side of the pitch. But... They do look to break away for the first time in a long time, and they can't. And in fact, it's a quick transition back on the offense for grid serve resolve. And I still want that second goal. But as you wisely okay. recommended, let's not sell out for it. And we don't. Noah Saki, the only player needed to push forward, the only player needed to commit on offense. We do have that two goal buffer with two minutes remaining. And just for the record, Cyber Havoc was no longer to count now, as apparently they did have food. I'd hope they're yeah, watching unacceptable. while eating the Resolve POV stream. So we're actually at 19, game, 19 goals forecast left for our qualification mm. to the main event. Make that 18. It's five. And Razier's, the kickoff's starting to go our way. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. This is what I want with three minutes remaining. Just keep 
putting the goals in. But again, keeping it chill. You know, let's not let's not have a three three player pre jump effort. Just just vibe with it. I, I don't think we need more than one player in offense to 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 beat this defense. Just give it to someone, go after it, see what happens. If it doesn't work, it's fine. Uh, and then this doesn't matter. Still two goals ahead. We vibing. We chilling. Don't even worry about it. I'm not. Are you? I think there was a moment in our formation on that retreat back where every single one of the resolve players were like touching the left hand curveball. That's how that's how much we had decided that's the side we were rotating back on. Um, and with a kickoff immediately afterwards, are we still chilling? Yeah, I'm vibing. Okay. This is why we all had right, the buffer. Right. Like we're fine. We had time. The lads were vibing a little too hard, and now they're just gonna unvibe. Um, so it's yeah, the vibes are still un -vibe. good. Unvibe, yeah, they're gonna unvibe. If you unvibe, are the gonna, vibes still good? They're no, they're gonna unvibe goals. and then revibe. They're gonna revibe ah, with the good it's like vibes. like turning it off and on again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just gotta re oh, that, it's, you reset, anything. you recuperate, you revibe, and you resolve. <laughs> we're gonna resolve game three here. Si Thank I'm gonna you. call it six four. It's go we're gonna get one more mm. and we're gonna settle things down. Um, so that, yeah, don't worry about it. Will we finally see some gritty Riz swagger levels? Can we find them? Riz can't Some find enough boost to get back to that hashtag ball. It's okay. Riz. Hashtag gritty Riz. Luis in a bit of an exposed position, albeit he's uncontested and able to take control and command of the ball. Tries to send Squixel to the shots, faking his first man in front of what could be a shot on the net. That's confidence and I respect it. Noah facing down two defenders and that's a beautiful play. Oh, is he is he going to fake that or has he just missed it? The ghost touch has fooled me and Raziers just needs to put that on net. Probably had a good chance of going through. There was a defender there in the way. Might have been enough to put him off. Luis P trying to get a dunk. It's not to be. 25 seconds left on the clock. Looking to close this one out. Feeling relatively comfortable despite conceding four goals to this point. But it's only one goal needed to equalize. And there it is for Egg. They have done uh, what feels like five goals against the run of play somehow. But uh, it's got to be said, this is just a straight up choke by Grid Serve Resolve at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and My we're guys, here you for were three it. goals up. It was like, come on. What's going we on? We are here for the content. Raziz. We want a winning goal. We want the drama Bang. for the sweep. Don't oh, no! Hell! How does that stay out, man? But at least we get <laughs> another goal to get us closer to using up the 30 budget cleanly. Oh my goodness. If we'd conceded a kickoff goal, I was quitting. I'm just saying right there, I was quitting. Hold up. I was muting and leaving that. No, okay. For a second, I thought. Black profile picture. Yeah, change dot, my, dot, dot, as description. Twitter, <laughs> Twitter.com slash dot. Um, <laughs> whereas my actual dangerous... Twitter account is actually months. Oh, so if you wanna, is it? Yeah. Twitter.com slash actually months. Noah Saki has more boost in the tank. The <laughs> shot Go on. is safe. So many defenders. And now Raziz. Yeah, that, that, is, that is some parking of the bus as Raziz is there. Followed up upon. Namasaki. Double flip oh. reset. Nearly oh. goes through. That would have been an incredibly underwhelming way to score. But I don't care. Raziz can't quite really keep possession. But he can poke. And give this lovely awkward interaction. Well, P scores these. And full tank of boost. He's got the double tap opportunity. But the angle quickly closed down. This ball right for Foxy. He can't get an angle. Uh, very slightly off target. Luis P there to carry it away. And he's going to look to touch forward. And I would guess get a teammate involved off the 50-50. It drops down. Raziers can't get over it. But will drop it in kind to Noah Saki. Who puts the finishing touches on an absolute tire fire of a game number three. But we do, in the end, smoke our opponent out. And move on to the next round. In 11 goals. And that's what the exchange <laughs> held for us. A game oh far longer goodness. than the time it took for Gritty Riz to dip out of that lobby. Job done.
with the sweet. Job they done. wanted no more to do with it, as it is moist esports that await us, because we have defeated that three-headed hydra of an egg roster that ended up a little scrambled on the floor, as we like. I can confirm that Noah. I'm looking at the the boot camp yeah. Amager, and again he he's he's gone. Like, he's out. He's done. I'm just going to completely. I have no inside info on this particular thing. I reckon. I reckon Noasaki. I reckon he's sick. He, this is his flu. This is his flu mat. His flu game, right? It's the flu game. It's the flu game. Um, but it's a flu qualifier, and that's 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 why we lost in the first series of the day. Uh, against top cougars flu game it's all part of the it's all part of the narrative we all know how the flu game ended um and that was michael jordan going crazy so noah saki about to go crazy you heard it here first uh and this is a good a good little stepping stone i think a good a good little way to get it started i'm ready also I, oxygen are in lowers waiting at the end of their their branch as I can confirm, they did get swept by Team 3, the former Evil Geniuses, Rizex and Catalyst combo with Mark by A. So there's a lot of content happening around the bracket, including Solary falling. Top Cougars, of course, are now into their first main event. Solary swept by Top Cougars, and Solary away at the end of that endpoint-shaped branch. We are here with, I think, what will undoubtedly be the most stacked matchup of the entire bracket here. It's not even upper bracket. It's not even lower bracket qualifier. It's grid serve against Moist coming up next.
everyone. It was a quick break this time. You are joining Grid Surf Resolve as we do RLCS 2024 EU op EU Major 1 Open. No, right. like EU Major 2 Open Qualifier Double Major Elimination one. Bracket. I changed it. EU Major you 1 EU Open Major Qualifier. Two, it's... EU Major 1 e Open Qualifier 2 Swiss Thank you. Uh, double, double Elimination. elimination. Lower bracket. <sighs> I really love this Round new naming three. convention, if you couldn't Me tell. Too. We're playing Moist. Rossi. You might have heard of this roster, but you also might have seen them last week. Lose to Grid Serve Resolve because we won game two. If we win game two, we win series. It is 100% divined upon us. So let's make sure that game one certainly happens and let's focus on game two. As Moist mm -hmm. will be looking for revenge on what made their Swiss stage so difficult. Because, of course, after they lost Series 2 of the Swiss um, last weekend months, they would go on to reverse sweep the bracket. We fell out 1-3. That was our only Series mm. win. Let's make sure we get this and a whole lot more wins because that goal is brought to you by a lovely demo of Louise P. Just want to address the chat. Welcome, Moist fans. Good to see you here. Uh, and... I want to address Jeff's comment as well and say that let's not let facts get in the way of a good story. Back, back to you, Steve. <laughs> we don't really do facts here. I am keeping an eye on a lot of goings on in this ever chaotic European qualifier bracket. It's only flip oh. preset, shot, down, blocked. Yes, the, the fact being that with two minutes on the clock, Saar are up against K Corp in game five just european things that's a demo and nearly a second one joy with the dodge and pop up into the sky but he, surely without this much boost he will get a bump taking two players out of the game but alas no chance created for moist who trail in the series nil nil but one nil in the game and that's what matters does indeed it does indeed but to this point May I remind you, we've not kept a clean sheet, so it should take an Osaki goal here to really secure things, and that's exactly what he gives us with a perfect little flip reset. Oh, this was delightful. Ooh. Give me more of that, please. That. I have no words. Just that. <laughs> I'm too focused on the clean sheet. That. I am far too focused is this the game? on the clean sheet. Chad, this is this the game? The game. We have not yet this season kept a clean sheet on the Grid Serve Resolve stream. We are hoping That's wild. you are in attendance with us for this moment. But we are quite a long way through it. And Moist is a team with plenty of firepower. It's Raziers now be. rising over the demo of Noah. Patiently waiting for the ball to bounce back down. But Luis a little optimistically positioned will allow Joyo into the play. We'll bump him. But only on the rebound. Time stops as he waits for it to come back down to him. And nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Raziers picks it up. Does beat one, but Rezzy's well positioned to take over. And this is threatening. Nosaki with some work to do from the ceiling and doesn't get the job done. I thought for a moment he was going to come out with the wonder challenge, but it wasn't to be. That was that was an interesting decision. I, I'm kind of okay with it. He had, a, he had a good chop at it, but just couldn't quite get good contact. You're not going to learn. I'm okay with it. make mistakes. And you know what? That won't happen again. Unfortunately, we are waiting for the clean sheet to happen. Still, we can wait till next, next game. game. It's fine. Next Rezzy. game. Fine. He's back on the ball, though, from that dangerous left hand wall. And he will find Oli for oh, the double that's saved save. incredibly by Luis, who paraglides down below the crossbar to keep our 1 0 advantage intact. This is indeed the lower bracket, which is absolutely wild to me, considering we play fast forward or magnifico. Uh, if we win this. <laughs> yeah. I can also Absolutely confirm that K Corp crazy. have gone to the lowers, considering oh that Saar have beat them in game five. Um, so who's the lucky team that... Uh, where does loser of Q go? Ah, well, unlucky wild. Um, if you win to the end of your bracket, you play K Corp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, as we do get confirmation that Magnifico, as thankfully as an expected result comes in, they have sent fast forward to the lowers, mm. meaning that is, of course, what awaits the winner of this series right here and it's 2-1 resolve just over halfway through game one a little bit of a chance to put some pressure on but 
Rezzy does well to find a way to get the ball to Joyo, who just about bundles it over. Defensive grid serve resolve combining to get it clear and buying themselves a little bit of time. Plenty of boost, though, in the tank, but rendered completely oh. irrelevant by Joyo. As he shimmies and shakes his way through, Rezzy with a chance to pop. Looks to go low, but... Lewis P reads it well. Joyo, can please just go away, mate. Go I away. Mean, go I, somewhere thankfully else. Thankfully, he didn't go away. He pretty much saved his teammate's shot after <sighs> assisting for what would have been the equalizer. So we'll just take that instance. Back. But the minute of destiny has begun as the flick up here in game one. Intercepted by Luis, who's only one versus one, except he's actually battling oh. it against himself, which creates the oh. bump attempt. And Oli still saves it, the Dutchman. Doing bits on the defense as there's a lovely pre-jump from Noah. And that creates a very poorly winded attack from Moist. And he's able to intercept here again. But another chance off the backboard. And I'm getting a little nervous about everything now. Mm. Wonderful saves coming out from both sides throughout this match. Oli popping that and threatening. Rezzy heading towards the corner. Nothing doing right now, but he's got a chance to pick out a teammate. It's just popped high by the defense. I didn't even spot who did it, but Luis P following it up and doing his best to keep this in a bit of a neutral position out on this wing. Five seconds remaining and look to take control of that ball and get it grounded. A ball high above net is better than at net right now. The ball stays alive, though. A pre-flip will allow Raziers to get in the way. And we do take game number one, albeit at the cost of a clean sheet. But that second goal, the wonder goal from Noah Saki, enough to put us through to game number two with a win under our belts. The racing green of this grid serve resolve team stands strong. We don't do watercolor here, months, do we? No. No, we, we don't. don't. 1-0. The scoreline. Is any color series. that Moist uses a watercolor? I mean, it really should be, shouldn't it? Right. Makes you think. Makes you think. Game two. As we've uh, come to realize, incredibly important, because other than that one time that probably didn't happen, who can trust Jeff? Uh, anytime we've won a game number two, we've won the series. That'd be pretty cool. That is true. Don't look at the Oxygen series because that had already omitted from my mind given how despair it was. Yeah. Um, ultimately, game two there was actually game one and game one was actually game two. So I think the statement still stands yeah. strong. Not yeah. as irrefutably strong as the lack of a clean sheet, but the more I dwell on that, the more it upsets me. So I'm just here for game two. I want to see the response out of Moist, and more importantly, I want to see Gridserve be able to adapt to it, because that isn't it. It's just game two, not the first clean sheet of the season. Uh, confirmed. That was a tough one. Yeah. Everyone getting chased around. Are you allowed? I don't, you should, you're not allowed to bump in this game. You shouldn't be allowed to demo, I reckon. Or yeah. We shouldn't be I mean, allowed to be defense, demo. defense, like... Just got slashed as much as seemingly the budget that run the league ops for this tournament format, you know? Like oh the lack goodness. of seeding at all. <laughs> imagine um, has resulted in like, many lopsided brackets, you know? Imagine if only if there, there was someone who whose job better. was dedicated to yeah. like seeding a tournament. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'd or be you really could just cool. have it decided by a set process, which, you know, in fairness, at least it is consistent, albeit consistently bad. Um, but that is at least totally fair Ooh. as a fairly juicy pass down to Noah will get us a fairly convenient equalizer. That is convenient. And I'll just give the chat some context. If, you, if you're sensing some snark by my co-commentator, Mr. Steve, no. Uh, no. that no. is because previously he has worked as a, on the no. seeding committee I think for RLCS. Far, so. far, everyone is far aware of far more numerous and more important people that were laid off um, by such slashes. So that's True. no problem. No, um, but, but, you know, least, in this particular context, yours is the relevant one. Bring yeah. back Swiss. I'm here for it, honestly. I'm here for it. Bring, just bring back seeding. <laughs> just bring back yeah, seeding. Just bring back it back solves seeding. so many problems. And Joyo, I'll be honest, go away. It Thank really you. doesn't require much more budget. I'm, uh, you know, uh, I think I think it's fair to say, Munch, you'd probably be able to tell. I'm not very expensive. Um, 
I'm, I'm you know, 20, Someone 20, say cheap. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, as the <laughs> yeah. famous quote says. Can confirm. Will be it. That's a, you know, three minutes is a long time. It might cost me more than 20 minutes. 20 bucks of that time. Oli, eh. He can't make any time of that up on the backboard. That's Moist right, and worried. This play has been really, like, hollow when they've come forward. The, there's not a lot of substance to the attacks. But that's talking a, about Moist's mm, attack or ours? Yeah, Moist's. Like, mm. They're, like, prodding. Like, come on, defense. Do a lot of high backboard the and then out to the corner. The mistakes and... aren't coming. Mm. We have made critical mistakes, if we've seen in, main, in in main event, with the defensive placement of the touches. But we haven't been making them thus far frequently today. They were forced mistakes with many demos in our earlier upper bracket series against top Cougars. But Moist haven't been able to replicate that kind of pressure. I don't doubt that they're capable of it. But that hasn't oh been the my. case thus far, ah, as you see us. Noah, what a save! <laughs> Genius! <laughs> what a clearance! How could he think in that moment? To play that off the inside of his own post and out. Incredible stuff. And he follows it up with an absolute wonder save that's launched Luis into a transition oh. offense. A pass almost picked out, but Raziers couldn't find a way to shoot. Noah with the follow-up. Raziers just about finds his way through. And up after an absolute masterclass from the defensive <laughs> end all the way to the <laughs> offensive end, grid serve result, find their second of the game and find a lead. Ah, oh, <laughs> an absolute ego challenge oh. from Raziers to punish the web buffering dial-up internet speed processing from Oli as he received the ball at the top of the box and prayed no one would challenge him. Um, but this is 24. Someone is always challenging and he paid the price as Noah has to give up the price of the ball on defense. Joyo is up, Oli in response, but it's a great interception by the Saki as he follows up there on the challenge of the former. But Luis should be back for this. Should be being the key word, but he absolutely clangs it downfield. As he's got some time, but not any boost. So he has to give this one up and 50-50 goes, resolves way. As he is with the read. Bears down to the backboard, but it's taken away by Moist. And Joyo helps it on. No boost to spawn for him. He's going to look for the bump, and it just about is relevant. But well, in the end, well, it's an well. overcommit, and we push through. Razier's the beneficiary, and we get that two-goal buffer that I like so very much with 52 seconds remaining. It's like an early Easter egg hunt. Instead of trying to spot the eggs, you're trying to spot the moist defenders, which there was none of in the entirety mm. of the blue half. And that was quite an easy turnover transition to a goal, which Resolve will take. In this game two, which albeit, you know, isn't a clean sheet, but is a game two. And we will more than take that at this point. We really will. I'm still not comfortable. Any team with Joyo on it, I want a three-goal buffer going into the last 30 seconds, if I'm completely honest. But as every touch goes by, as every second ticks away, I grow more comfortable. Rezzy looking to set up a teammate. No one there to meet it. And this shot needs to go in for any hope to remain for Moist in game number two. The shot didn't go in, and it will be Resolve looking to secure this one and move on to match point. Although, Joyo, come on, mate. Okay, thank you. Nope. That, I would have stressed just a little bit. It would have still been theoretically possible at that point. So, grid serve Resolve picking up a second game. Not a clean sheet, but hey, maybe game three is the game for us to get that donut in the goals against category i don't know what it is this was pretty about us here at resolve and our ability to bring the worst out of moist but it sure yeah. is effective and there's something about being able to make your opponent play worse that just ensures you against not playing your best months it's certainly an art i was always a big fan of it give of my lack of any significant ability um and it is incredibly effective at throwing people off a stable mental place that allows them to play well. That's certainly not where Moist are right now. Not at all. They are in a position of discomfort for sure. I'm pleased with it. 4-1. Look, it's, to be fair, probably 3-1. Let's, let's not get excited. That last goal, cute as it was. Not really indicative of the game as a whole. There were threatening moments for Moist, but 
it just seems like they, they're just falling apart after after any sort of concerted pressure from the resolve offense, any kind of repeat shot, any kind of extended pressure, and it's resulting in a good opportunity for resolve. And apparently we were able to put enough of those opportunities away. But chat, I know a lot of you are moist fans, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to ask you this one because, you know, somewhat biased. Not like Ask me, ask us, me, ask me. I, not I got like my us, hand up. Ask me. Not like us Resolve fans who are unbiased at, at all times. Always, is, always. Is this, is this the game? Is this the game that we go with a clean sheet? Um, I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I, I, I'd almost be disappointed if we lost the legend of never <laughs> keeping a clean sheet at this point. I'm not sure I want us to. And I yeah, don't think Moist is yeah. a team you should ever really be capable of doing that against. I'm still kind of at goal with the stats after that game as we saw over 1200 the boost differential in favor of moist they got over 12 more big boosts like four per That's player crazy. i can maths and yet That's they wonderful. still had a few chance to show for it field domination sure but realistically that was us being patient with the ball in our own half as you see here following up on that off target shot to then just deny the corner boost cut it back for noah for the shot and now Oli has to make sure he wraps this ball around well, but can't with the onrushing challenge of Luis, who just hounds him to the corner and really forcing his Moist themselves to have to dig something out of nowhere. The first thing being confidence, which is not something that can be all that easy to locate at tough times like this. It's a good start for them, though. Territorial advantage and a boost advantage for much of this opening 90 seconds. Razier's breaks out, but the lack of boost means he has to divert briefly to steal some to remain relevant. Nowasaki and Luis looking to combine, and in the end, the ball spills out to Razier's in his own corner. He's so strong from that position, but irrelevant on this one, on this particular occasion. Joya removing him from the play, picking out a pass, but no shot really threatening from Ole. Uh, but they look, they keep pushing forward, Dumois. They're, they're, they're not relinquishing possession very easily. While they're not really finding threatening shots, they're just not going away. And they do find a threatening shot there on the end of the bump, but it's a good save to keep them out. As even there, Moist not able to break through. How cursed do you oh, feel oh, when stuff like that oh, happens? No. How do you even pinch that? What? Moist are cursed against Resolve, man. I, I, I mean, that's brilliant. I, I feel bad for them. You know, they lost to us in Swiss. They dropped to lowers. It's not even the quality game. And they see us awaiting them. And stuff like that happens. At what point do you start looking to consult your local witch doctor? I'm interested in witch doctors that are available near me. Which you never witch see a notification doctor? for that. The ones who can do some voodoo and cure you of some dark curses. I want the hot single... <laughs> Which doctors, Which doctors in my area? <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? It's Rezzy into the central area of the field, albeit Joyo has to follow up after the interception from Luis. Joyo is up. Joyo is looking to hunt down, but Rezzy is staying close to the wall. Gets the clean touch and another over the top of Rezzy. Can he follow up now? Oli is able to half flip back to the ball as Moist still trying to find their footing find themselves still level in this match which is an improvement for them into the final hundred but again we're just one away from that potential knockout blow oh Lee just about finds a way through but it's fantastically dealt with well, he's P and Nosaki left on the field alone as Razier's gets removed from it Joyo with a chance the pop over one but gets bumped off it well, he's again seems to be everywhere right now can't get hold of that ball but does cause some hesitation from Rezu, who's called off. Joyo with a direct shot, just about catches Noasaki off guard. And again, Moist with the possessional, the territorial, and the boost advantage. At times, they do find a shot oh. finally into the unguarded net. And they've been finding these corners a lot. And generally, if the ball's in the corner, it's not threatening. But Joyo found a perfect pinch pass. And that does ruin it dirties it, it it sunders our clean sheet and uh yep, puts again. moist into the lead yeah would you believe and ultimately if you're caught at the front post and you can't challenge that potential pinch at source Ooh. should you not really be covering the area where it may be going certainly didn't expect such a clean pass on the initial defender joy has done fantastic there it's another instance of us being very optimistically 
positioned, which is all too easy for me to say in hindsight, of course, but mm. it's a balance. How I'll much weight that. and faith you're able to put in your positioning and, you know, posture, where you're expecting the ball to go. And, you know, you're sometimes going to be not optimistic enough and sometimes you're going to be over eager. I just keep thinking that we find ourselves with the latter in how we follow up expectant touches. And then with just over 10 seconds left, not much time to put it right because Luis can't get on the end of the ball. Raziz is there at the back and we have to build from the back, Mutz. Rezzy playing with a lot of aggression, chasing the demos, looking to take time off the clock, create space for his team to clear into. Nosaki amazingly keeps that up, and that's a good pop. The ball should be grounded, though, and it is. Moist pick up their first game win and do prove that they're not wet wipes. Holding on, keeping <laughs> things competitive, <laughs> and it's good serve resolve with a little bit of extra pressure on them. 70% field domination. 70% of the time, the ball was in the grid serve half. Yeah, it felt yeah, like it too. It's easily a winnable game if you have to look at the facts, albeit that we were outshot 15 to 1. Mm. 15 to 1? Mm. That's 15 to 1, in, ca in case you didn't hear. Mm. Um, that ball is not happy, from what I can tell. Um, mm. There are some polite hand gestures to emphasize the point of which he is communicating. And ultimately, communication skills, very important on a CV months. Do you have strong communication skills? Um, uh, 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 yes. Yeah, I would say so. Would your peers? 15 shots to one. Significantly lopsided, I would say. Um, nah. I'd like to not see that happen again. On the bright side, it was only one goal, though, from those 15 shots. Um, like you said, a lot of the offense felt um, hollow. Right now, goal mouth, not hollow. Filled, in fact, with a ball. Just to remind you that while the field does have a ball, uh, Moist did reverse sweep in Swiss. We don't... Last not, weekend. That was in matches. I don't know if they reverse swept any series but that's what they're attempting to do here now it's awfully cool a resolve to give them a hope of doing this it's entertaining for sure noah will not be able to create the double but with that whiff that shot that finish razier's ties things up i'm here for it razier's he's been a little bit quiet to be fair in the last couple of games and for me that's a good thing because if razier's wakes up and the other two are popping then this team is just about unstoppable Razias, for me, has been behind a lot of our forward impetus in various series so far this season, or at least through the first event, which is, of course, the only event that we've, we've had. But, uh, yeah, if Razias can Did wake you up mean again... EU Qualifier 1? For Did EU Major 1? Oh, go on, it's then. a majorly important goal from Noah Great. Saki. And if you watch this right man. here, he goes towards the ball and hits it That's before crazy. Oli, and now that... Wow. is what makes the difference. Did Incredible. you see the way? Did you see the way, chat, that he hit that ball before 100% the defender of the ball wow. was hit? You know, All of it. If you, Incredible. If, if you don't believe it, your money back, guaranteed. Incredible stuff there from Noasaki, the Rocket League player. <sighs> Joy is also a Rocket League player, a scary one for me. Um, I don't see him. He's in defense. He has to answer yeah, his ears. Which is that exactly owl. where I want Joyo to be. Especially when we are two to one up. Rezzy, though, has been a little bit, bit of a pest against us at this point. I think he was pretty responsible for shutting the game down in game number three. Chasing, demoing, playing aggravatingly uh, for anyone playing against him. But not so efficient on the pitch to Look this point. But... I mean, you mentioned the word efficiency, and of course the German pops up and puts in a third goal for grid serve resolve. It's wonderful stuff. He's hit that ball. He's hit it. He's absolutely hit it. Wonderful. I wonder whether you can get that resolve goal explosion in the item shop. If you want to relive that moment where Razier's scored again to double the advantage. I don't think you can anymore. And for Moist, the deficit. 3-1. Looking to try and make it 3-1 in the series, albeit with so much time left. Luis nearly with a cheeky pop on a fail clearance from Oli, who gets a second bite at it and sends it deep down Main Street. Joyo 
racing his own teammate for the corner boost, not getting it. No pressure on the ball. Resolver able to go down Ooh. the other end. And if not for a double commit bundling the ball out of the net, then it would have been 4-1. Moist on the ropes of, you know, their major contention pretty much yeah. being immediately ended. To lose in not the qualifying game as well for a main event, for a Swiss stage of the EU Qualifier 2 of EU Major 1. It's not really an EU major, but it might as well be when you can see the final results of it, probably. Um, it's not <laughs> ideal. Just... Oh, the naming conventions, man. They're wild. It will never get old. We have oh, to live with this. We do. We do. RLCS Major 1 European Open Qualifier 2 Qualifier Stage. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. We're approaching yep. half time and Noah just getting revved up. Luis doing a lot of the work here. Just, oh, look at that. Little quick one-two as they put that over the line. Definitely intentional. Yep. Love it. Absolutely love I it. I think grid serve. The gritty Riz are going to send mm. Moist home if this continues. And at this rate, I can read chat and they can tell me that Joyo needs a rise like player that attacks from defense. In your expert opinion, do you think they could use a vetera like player to help <laughs> everywhere else? Is that what's going to come next? Is that really where we're going? Because Joyo is in the middle. And he didn't need much support to collect that donation and cut the deficit down to two. <sighs> well, remember I did say any team with Joyo on it is one that I would like a three-goal lead against. And we had that three-goal lead. It's now down to two. And that means I'm nervous again. Steve, I'm stressing. I'm worried. I'm anxious. Um, I'm wearing a sweater and I'm sweating. I don't want to take it off, though, because I've got a branded shirt on and I don't want to put that on stream. So... No, kind it's of okay. That would be terrible. Almost as terrible as the rules and algorithms that decide the seeding for this <laughs> open qualifier. But alas, we have already set that ship to sail as Raziz is up looking for the pinch block and finding. But Rezi and Joy were the first responders, both of them. Noah patiently positioned will get the touch, albeit still live and central. Raziz has to help it a little bit to the corner where it is swiftly fired out of as far as Oli who is baiting in the challenges, but not for long. It's messy, but it's still in the corner. Rezzy's got a chance to pick out a partner in crime, but Razier shuts him down. And Luis in kind, getting rid of the threat of Joyo. Joyo getting rid of one of our defenders, but it's Razier's coming across to help out. Zero boost in the tank after the save was made. He's scrambling around. He's picked up a full tank of gas and he's going to use it to transition. Off the ceiling he comes, over the top of one, and then Finish the, end, the dagger put down. Luis P, hopefully finding a nail in the coffin of Moist Esports. There's that three goal buffer. I'm much more content. I'm much more comfortable. There is still time, but I'm, I'm vibing. I'm all right. Grid serve to go two for two in series against Moist. If only we could play Moist in the next round and then three times in the Swiss that would follow that. Mm. We'd be in very good standing as a bump oh. on the final defender. What? No. A flick. <laughs> what? Incredible assist. The game <laughs> sense from Noah, who Noah once sucked. again uses the woodwork to his advantage. This is generational talent right here. And it's pro prodigal genius in front of your eyes. I actually don't know how he didn't get credited with that goal. I'm sure he touched it before it went over the they line. They should just remove, they should give him the assist <laughs> and the goal. Real. That's incredible. Twice in this series, he's used the inside of the woodwork to find plays that look unintended and look disadvantageous for him and his side, but yes. turns it into brilliance. Incredible stuff from... A, a, I, I gotta say, an underrated genius, an undiscovered Absolutely. prodigy. It's incredible. Truly so. I couldn't agree more. His face is like a brick wall that cries and can feel pain. As that is incredible from the Saki who finds himself on the ball. What a genius will await us this time? It's just a pass to Luis in the final 20 seconds. It's a bittersweet feeling. It is awfully sweet for Grid Serve Resolve, who go one series away from the Swiss stage, the former main event, but it is elimination for Moist. And what that means, I cannot tell you the repercussions of. Victims of a resolve that seems to be Moist's bogey team. And it has to, has to say, Moist victims of a wildly 
uh, unpredictable seeding and bracket system. And in the end, it's 7-2 definitively in our favor. I, look, I can't even be smug. I can only sympathize with the Moist fans in the chat yep. because this is rough. At this point in the qualification, to have a matchup like this and matchups that we've seen all over the bracket, it, it's just incredible. And, and not in a great way either, it has to be said. Some of but the biggest do names. Not worry. Go on, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Interjects. Because Team Hosky are <laughs> playing Bills Bergs for a spot in the Swiss stage main event. Team Hosky did beat Wild 3 2, but Look, you know, Hosky... it, it does. Team Hosky are, are fine. They're fine. And RFN might play SpongeBob. SpongeBob or Oida. Also mm. for a spot in the main event. Yeah. These these branches are not created the same, but I'm all here for new opportunities to new players. I'm not here for a lack of competitive integrity. But albeit that, like many things in our format, has proven largely disposable. So we shall move on. Um, and Resolve will move on to one series left. In fact, disposing of Moist. Uh, who again, they put up a bit of a fight. That second or that third game where they picked up their their, their opening game win was it 15 shots to one i was i was yes. stressing i'm not gonna lie i thought that might have been the turning point we might have been seeing something a little bit different in the next game but it was resolved that just picked up turned over and uh, decided to keep on playing the way they were in games one and two and really just put the foot down and and and, and ran off with the victory um so yeah i think let's I think it's going to be much easier for us to feel less tilted about the bracket than it than it is going to be for the Moist fans in the chat um, and in general. I think we all take a little bit of a breather. I think we have a break. And we come back and we we ride this high that we've just we've just had, and uh, yeah, we come back and play fast forward for qualification in the lower bracket of of the qualification stage of the of the RLCS Major One That's European right. Open Qualifier Two.
Welcome back, one and all. Uh, yeah. We're in. We're in. We are Probably. in. We're in. We're in. Well and truly. Well and truly This in. is only the, the most important series, like, ever against Fast Forward. The team who, of course, did make it. And 3-2 was their store oh. line in the Swiss. Swiss, I should say 2-3, as Simas puts them up. The roster of Simas, Edgeby, and Compact. A strong showing, and they're looking to get off to a strong start, having just fallen out of the upper bracket. Absolutely. And the scoreboard will be uh, rectified momentarily. Stick with us while we fix it. It is a fast forward with that opening goal early on. And to this point, we've not looked great with opening goals against us, or at least fast opening goals against us. I'd like to see a bit of comeback ability from us. Uh, and I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but Blue sided for the first time that today. That is a really fair point, mm. is comeback ability. How many mm. games has this team had to... I mean, people always say that those are the, you know, the matches that you bond over as a roster is when you get through that adversity, you come back from two down, from three down sort of thing. I can't remember how many games we've won from losing positions. I feel like the majority of our games have been seriously well-controlled affairs, and that's great, but you also need to be able to do it both ways because things aren't always going to go your way, and they haven't here in the first minute of this early game one in, you know, the most important series of all time to qualify for the Swiss stage here. It's definitely the most important series today for us. Uh, and let us not forget our fallen brethren, as they are indeed fallen upon the wayside. Teams like Moist, which is absolutely crazy, but we don't have to get bogged down in that, because right now we're playing Compact, Edgeby, and Seamus, all experienced players in the upper bubble and the lower main event stage, I want to say. Edgeby of... Uh, I was going to confidently say must do fluck. I'm pretty sure it's must do fluck that he's played he a lot has with. Before. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, it, probably the least known of the three. But uh, I promise you, this kid got the mechanics to be scary. This whole team, a little bit scary, and definitely what I like to refer to as a banana peel side. And uh, I mean, in theory, they're the favourites. Ability. They were two well, and three last weekend. Yeah. I, yeah. Look. Sure. As you said, in theory. For me, in they're theory. a banana peel side. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Uh, that's a very valid assessment, as we do not find an equalizer there on this occasion. There is, of course, a universe where Wild has a rather unwild finish from Luis. Just tamely keeps the ball into the back of the net with a bit of help and physical play on the ground there. Uh, there's a universe where Wild beats K Corp and they don't make the Swiss stage. Imagine that. It's not a universe that I think you'd have to search too long for. Um, who did K-Corp get beaten by again? Was it Sa? Yeah, yeah. Sa. Who, now are yeah. Number, who are now the number one seed in Europe, of course. <laughs> in theory. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're probably I mean, maybe like unofficial world points. champions maybe once you get to well. Swiss, Maybe once you get to Swiss, it just takes your points. Maybe that's... Wait. I know are that they did unofficial a thing. world that was a, champions? Who are the unofficial uh, world champions Yeah, right I think now? they probably are. Indeed. Well, it yeah, is Sa. Um, it's Sa. Sa it's are currently Sa. unofficial world champions. That is crazy. That is and crazy. And yet it's not at the same time. <laughs> it really isn't. Just EU things. Because what was, you know, barely a top 16 team last event in Europe can still be the best team in the world. Um, that's Europe. And ultimately... I don't think many of us would say Gridserve reflected what we're capable of last regional. We didn't show it in the upper bracket so far today, no. but we have started to find it in the lowers. But I still think we're in agreement when we say there's more to see. We haven't even seen a clean sheet yet. And when I see that, I know we'll have found the stride. Will, will game two be the game that we get a, a clean sheet? But... That's a question for game two. Right now, game number one. A minute remaining. One apiece on the scoreboard. We have managed to come back, which is a good thing. Uh, but can we eke out a lead? This Raziers pops it over one. Looks to 50 with Compact, who does find good contact on it. But Noasaki nearly <laughs> catching Edgeby out. A little bit more power, and that was a goal. As Edgeby just decided that Noah was going backboard, and that's not what happened. 
No, not at all. The soft shot catching Edgeby off guard, but being so soft he was able to tumble from the post and pinch it out into the final 30. A demo but no follow-up bump from Raziers means Noah's still got work to do as patient 50s are the name of the game. And Luis to the backboard. A second touch he will opt for. It gives time for Compact to get up and get the ball clear. But it's not clear from fast forward who fumble the possession. And Raziers now looking to bait a challenge that so nearly whiffs on the contact. He now sort of belly flops the ball mid. We're lacking <laughs> a bit of direction, but we're hoping that our probing will be successful in finding a pocket for a shot as this could be the last one as it rolls around. But it's swiped clear by Compact who gets it down for overtime. I want to say second OT of the day? I feel like we had one in the first series. It might be the third, but yeah, it's definitely not the first. Mmm. Mmm. It was one I'm of the first series it. and then one against Moist. Baby steps. Yeah. Let's start an O let's start a clean sheet OT. <laughs> then maybe we can progress to a full game. Because again, true. chat, I, I wanna remind you, we've yeah. we've not had a clean sheet in a game this season. Ever. Not even yeah. one. That's um, been on stream. I'm sure we have in day oh, one yeah, and two yeah, 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 yeah. qualifiers, but, day but those, one those and twos don't, don't count. count. Yeah. Louis P popping that high. Edgeby's got plenty of time uh -oh. in the 1v1, and that's just in. He correctly reads the early challenge, and with a quick pop, Raziz is taken out of the game. He was facing forwards. He had to full commit, but it was popped swiftly and highly enough to evade the challenge or the block, and that overtime ends in defeat for resolve we fail to come back from behind seemingly again albeit that was a well played close game and mm. i'm not too worried just yet it's rough i was about to say uh that edgeby didn't get the touch he wanted as he popped it uh but razier's just early challenge it turned out to be the perfect touch for <laughs> for edgeby oh that one's tough that one is tough uh it's fine though as Tad, you can see him saying, don't worry, relax, chill. It's, it's all right. Um, and I agree with him. I think it is okay. I think we went behind early. We fought back. Just didn't quite, didn't quite, didn't quite dig it out in OT. It's a 50-50. It's a coin flip in OT at that point. It is no longer a 50-50 now because we've got a whole five minutes. And the longer we've got, the higher the statistical probability of us winning is. And I'm calling it, Steve. This is the game that we this get is the clean a clean sheet, sheet. This is All it. Right, I, uh... First clean sheet of the season. Oh, Razier's nearly with the opening goal of this game. I was looking for a bit of reciprocation on the camera, as you saw there, from Luis, who sat next to him. As the duo could prove important here on offense, albeit no bump connected. On Edgeby, who pinches the ball downfield <laughs> and catching Noah off guard is going to be an all-important opening. Is also how I feel about that. <sighs> anyway, next game is going to be the game that we get a clean sheet. <laughs> just There's one. no such thing. It's a myth. Don't believe the sheets you've heard of. I just want one. Can we... You know, in addition to our lovely grid surf partners, potentially look to partner with like Vanish or some sort of detergent. Anything that can help clean our sheets would be fantastic. What's the one in the Super Bowl? I don't know. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I don't, I'm not no, interested in 10 minutes of I, gameplay. I don't think it's this Super, Super Bowl detergent ad. Uh, Tide. Oh, well, you look up. It's Tide. Well, there you go. Let's partner that, with that's Tide. Great. It's not a wash joke, Cropper. It's a clean sheet joke, but it, sh yeah, it sure would be great to play someone washed for once, actually, in, it would a, in a qualification bracket. Imagine. <sighs> it is. That's a very, very high level of game instinct from Simas there. I say that, albeit in another context, it could just be looked as turning and ball chasing because there's a risk of an uncontested shot, of which was arriving from Raziers. He arrives for the bump, but there's no shot following from Noah, who found himself misplaced for the opening oh. goal, but certainly in the right place to take that shot. But the crossbar is all that was found with it. Oh, almost a good bump from Raziers. Some space here for Noah's Saki, but he can't really get back to it, so it's a weak 
pinch off the ground. A little bit of a half volley even. Razir's plenty of boost here, so he could carry this, but he's interrupted, and that's dangerous. Luis P up for it quickly, and the whole team back to regather. Interesting from Noasaki. <laughs> Compax evaded the following bump attempt after the unorthodox, we'll call it a fake, and that's a rocket of a shot. Oh. Holy goodness. Yeah, there's no saving that one. You don't give players of this caliber uncontested Aye. shots, but that, even for them, is one to be proud of. Bullet in D to the top corner from Simas as it's 2-0 fast forward threatening the same in the series. You've got to remember, this is our second previously main event team in a row we're facing. To win yeah. this series would be to win more than we did last weekend in the Swiss stage. And Simas is starting to go no off a bit. No way, Simas. What are you... Why are you... What? Just don't. All right. It's half time. It's fine. We've got... It's plenty. It's half a game. We can score... Th if, if they can score three goals in a half, we can score three goals in a half. Um, to quote Moan, my old football coach. Um, I think yeah, we all so have the same football coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we were oh. all must have been not very good. Yeah. Which is a shame because this resolve roster is very good. And we need to start showing it. But Compact is showing that he is just that on the defense. And that's potentially four, if not for Luis, on good the back. Point. As there's the it's play. Almost a good pass. It's a great Noah pass. up. Backboard. <gasps> Second touch. Was it red? Yes, it was. But it was red by Simas as well, who has decided to turn on the FIFA sliders up to max and become god for a game. Oh, trying to get underneath there, but he couldn't. Luis, not enough boost to keep on pushing. Guess right by Simas. Noah. Oh, I think looking to pass. We should get back in time as Simas has done our job for us and delayed an oncoming offense from fast forward. Uh, 85 seconds now. Shot on target. Luis P saves it away. He gets away from the edge B contact. Staying behind that ball. Not enough boost to really impact things, but he gets a nice flick on it. Razier's won't get back to that with any kind of impact. Noasaki and Razier's, okay. I think, paving the way for Luis P to come through and punch that ball into an open net after a demo from his teammate. Look at that. Lovely. Razier's clearing the way. He's the train conductor today. And this train is not stationary just yet. The kickoff lost in favor for Razier's to take over and find Noah. It's a two versus two, but the Musty isn't on the mark. Was it a bluff? No, that certainly wasn't intentional as we've lost the ball from it and Luis is just caught out in the corner. Noah with a critical touch to evade an open net runaway being landed, which still is. Where Stop was it. was his? Oh. Uh, this is where he was. I, I realized that yeah. we were on his point of view. Um, but you got to try what you got to try. You gotta try what you gotta try, and look, it was dire straits. Down by two, final minute. You gotta, you gotta try what you gotta try. Uh, all right. So, comeback ability at the moment, mm. not a highlight of this team's game just yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out though. Um, and I think a good time to start is game three. I reckon. I think if, if we score in this final 30 seconds, we 100% win the series. If we don't score in this last 30 seconds, we 100% win the series, but it's it's more difficult. All right. What about three clean sheets in a row to reverse sweep? What odds would you get on that? I'd be... I'd, I mean, I'd, I'd certainly be going in for them. Why not? For what? Fast forward, and in particular, Simas are having an absolute series here. And while there is no shame in losing to a fantastic performance, there's certainly some in failing to return to the main event where we know this roster is more than capable of. The eyes are on the playoffs that we're yet to reach, but to reach them, you've got to make it to the Swiss stage first, and thus three games consecutively must be won. Easy reverse sweep. A great man once said, you can't reverse sweep without losing the first two games. That's fair. Sometimes you have to lose things. Unfortunately, we have lost Mads, Mads Gray, 
creamy and sharp. Which, <laughs> while I'm a little bit sad about, I don't think they're surprised. In fact, I think they'd be I think they'd be happy at the speed of response. I, they'll be proud. We can't yet be proud of the performance in this series. The two coaches. It's the most I think, attention they'll ever get from an org is very... being banned from their chat. <laughs> Oh, okay. Very contrasting speeches, I'm sure, the coaches of Tadpole and Potty will be given. Luis is chilling. How much is he hearing? How much Big is he shout listening? Out to Potty, Hopefully, it's going in the ear and not out the other. Taken on board because changes have to be made. And I don't know how much we need to change how Grid Surf are playing, but we certainly need to make sure that Fast Forward are not all engines and rockets engaged because they have been firing on all of the cylinders and grid serve we need to change that do indeed starting strong this is an awkward spot but goodness edgeby does well compact taking over and razier is left completely helpless just looking up hoping his team can take care of it with demo attempts and bump oh options a plenty there that it is. should be in it is indeed Luis p able to follow through as a, a, a little bit of a revenge taken uh, some have a bit of your own medicine handed back to them i want what am i trying to say here steve i'm trying to say we did a bump after they tried to do bumps and it worked is what i'm trying to say goodness i got it why am i it is on board why am i me. here honestly why am I here? because something special is about to happen and you're going to need to be a witness of it and i was there a virtual pilgrim mark that's what is here we pilgrim i we, we pilgrimage to watch this sort of gameplay albeit probably not that was very strange but it might be back it's not it's not in but we'll take the one nil for now every weekend Indeed. we come to see <gasps> this team play it is religious we are speakers of the faith months that is why we are here Albeit that's a dangerous shot that is saved by Razier's. It's here Indeed. for the ups and the downs. And this can we get, is can about we get, to swing up. Can we get Razier some boost? He's had to pick up pennies. He's managed to eke out 36 and it's stolen from in front of him is the big boost. The full hundo remains elusive. Compact puts that into an awkward spot. And Edgeby looks to make things even more uncomfortable. Simas, who's been player of the series so far for me. Can't do anything with it. It's a brief 2v1, but Simas gets back and does make the save. Compact was sweating. Luis can't get over the top of Edgeby. Noah looking for a bump. Does get hold of the player, but that player got hold of the ball first. So it won't be a goal just yet. Simas, big 50, and he does win it indeed. Noah Saki comes over. Luis hunting, trying to make things awkward. He does. Edgeby with a good save, though. And i got to say, the fast forward defense is looking really good at an individual I wanna level. I want to see more of it. Yeah, I, I, I would love stop to. seeing this this defense. Because Give us a if great we keep them right it. there, it's perfect. But Compact looks like he's trying to look for a new job on offense. And we can't be having that. The job center are closed for today. <laughs> we can make him redundant and send him out of the bracket. But that's the only other alternative is Noah just about gets onto that one. We definitely need to find some sort of hymn book from the church of resolve to keep our faith strong in this series perhaps i go to www.gridserve.com and think ah <laughs> yes electric fleet solutions for my business well gridserve are leading the way in electric whether you're an earlier adopter or just starting the journey they have all your electric needs in one place you know incredible need a van need a car that's where you head that's the sort of spell <laughs> that will protect us in this series wonderful stuff Oh, goodness. I'm sweating. This is stressful. That's off target. Razier's knows it. Won't get the follow-up 50. So it's Noasaki in the corner. Does pick up the boost, but at what cost? It's a shot on target. Saved away. We get a chance for transition. Razier's can't get contact with the ball, and Compact's beaten one. Razier's should get back to it. And will re remain relevant. A full tank of gas even as he punches that forward. And Compact's alone. Sim okay. We'll we take, take again. those. We, we absolutely do. Compact just wrapping it up for us. Oh, did it touch Edgeby on the way as well to just get a little bit of extra? What? That's Turbo Pulsar esque, it's got to be said. That is incredible. Perhaps the job center wasn't too inaccurate. And I don't know about you, months, 
but go my... away, Simas. I was about to say my sheets are clean. <laughs> um, but if you don't mind, I will excuse myself quickly and then return. Oh, kickoffs have been our kryptonite this 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 whole day. This has been an absolute struggle with kickoffs. That's got to be the fifth or sixth no! impactful kickoff goal. Whoa, Make that seventh or eighth. Mute like, what? him. What do you mean mute me? I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Oh my god! You're an oracle. Oh. Stop it. It's 2-2. Uh, two, two. And from 2-0 two up, we've got <laughs> a scrap here in game three. Which, albeit, I'm expecting to be the hardest on this journey. If you're going to move mountains, you're going to have to start by moving one stone at a time. Unfortunately, we moved a couple and then forgot which way we're going and put them back in the, where they started. But that's okay, we can start moving again. As the inspirational quote often reads, it's Luis <gasps> from the ceiling to the <gasps> backboard. Uncontested. No Noah way! blocked. Razier's there, keeping it in the mixer. But where is the blender? Is it banana or milkshake? It's Luis, the new flavor you haven't heard of. And it looks like a popover one, a flick past a two, a catch for the pass. Can he find it? Can he find it? Oh, yes, he can! It's another gift! Seamus return when he, he giveth after he taketh away. It's, it's all Seamus. It's all coming up Seamus right now. He's given us an absolute banger of a goal. We go into the lead, 3-2 to two in the final minute. And I'm still stressing, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Now stop talking before the kickoff ends. I've not said anything. this is Seamus off the kickoff. I'm not saying anything. The pass. It's messy, but it's blocked. Razier's rises above the pack. Simas will go and fetch, but a little bit of a fake. He'll look for the cutback, oh, for the no. pass to compact. He does amazing to have the awareness to find that pass, but it's not good enough to get it past. Luis in the defense, in the final 30. Noah to keep us alive, to kill the time. We just need a little, a little bit more months. Just a little bit more, 20 seconds more of exactly this. Luis P, the ball on the backboard, a bump in play, but not just yet. Razier's now on the halfway line, lurking, waiting for a moment to dive. He does, and he is beaten. But that clock ticks down. Compact with a chance to pass it. He does pick out Edsby, Luis. but Luis B shuts him down and will shut the ball to the ground. We do find the first step in the reverse sweep. We take game three. We take our first game. It wasn't a clean sheet. It wasn't a clean win, but a win all the same. That performance from Luis at critical moments was muy caliente. You know what that means, Munts? Means. Means good time. Good time. Good time. I learned that. Yeah, I learned that. I did um, know that. At university, muy caliente means good time. Right. Factual information here on the Resolve PO broadcast. It's two one. We are still losing, but not for long. <laughs> We're here for the change, and the times do be changing. We head to game four. Look at the excitement on the player's face as Noah again refreshes himself with a very unbranded bottle. Luis is in the zone. He is. Razier's is on Twitter. He's looking at twitter.com forward slash actually months. Um, pretty sure. <laughs> That's just got a camera in his face while trying to make a lot of of valid points because we got to record this for this reverse sweep that is mm. two games away from happening as fast forward that momentum not easily done but it has been broken got to do one of those comms videos historic ones where you do a reverse sweep what is it was it was it verge and dignitas their reverse sweep thing he had, a, he had a big old speech It was, in it. but that was nowhere near as cool as what Resolve are doing here. No, but, you know, just a precedent. Go on, Luis. Oh, I couldn't get he back to it. did not go on. That would have been cool. No, Saki's going to look to continue. <laughs> the go survey on, says he did not go on. <laughs> <laughs> Simas, that's well read and well respected by Razier. Nothing Wait, more annoying sorry. as a can defender. I just, yeah, can yeah. I just... What was the last game? We had, like, two own goals and three kickoff goals. Like, Bruh. what? It, what even it, was it? it I just realized. Changing. Yeah. That's what it is. We've been predetermined. I have ultimate faith in the Church of Resolve. Who's who's the, the woman in the red dress? I don't know. Yeah. Luis, uh, apparently. 
2024. Even see him. He, blended be... in, he blended into the goal. Luis is the, goal post. the woman in the red dress. <laughs> that oh, answers goodness. your question. Go on, then, Luis. Just take that off your teammate. He doesn't mind. It's actually a good call. Had more boost in the tank. Noasaki, a little bit awkward there, but Razier's cool, calm, and collected, although boostless. Uh, teammate is there to help out, though. Compact, I'm going to say, was called off that, let's say. Seamus. Shut down, a direct shot, saved by Edgeby, who had a good opening few games, but was quiet last game, and I'm here for it, uh, because that's the game we won. Coincidence? I don't know. He's just been flip reset over the... Oh! Goodness, I'm followed by Luis P. Goodness me. I have to say, Luis, in the dying embers Bang. of this qualifier <sighs> bracket, is starting to set the field alight. And that fire better not go out anytime soon. It can after two more games, but to be honest, mm. I'd rather keep it for the Swiss stage at that point. Luis is not just finding his footing, he is finding a third foot. Now let's put that in a position. <laughs> He's going to deal with it. He's got no boost. He was back for a while. Not sure where it all went. Razier's has absolutely munched the 50 there and kept no, things no, going no. as Noasaki can keep. A touch on it in the corner. Timas, who's been so good to this point, even providing our goal. Can't get it past halfway for now. Compact and early read gone or awry there. He couldn't quite... Just, it just looked awkward. All over. What's going on right now? Both teams looking awkward. Just sitting there. How are both teams awkward ball watching in, that Awkward in the, in the fast forward corner is perfect. Yeah, I'm here you for don't... it, but it's just like it doesn't feel nice. You know? It feels nice. No, it doesn't. My experience tells me keep it nice and awkward Gritty in the corner. It gets everywhere. That's fair enough, actually. I don't like that either. But Razier's is back in the corner. Can he keep it awkward? Or is oh. it going to be clean? Because it's mid. It's central. Surely. It's uncontested. No! And Noah! 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 What are you... All right. Still got... He was just taking time off the clock. He didn't... There we go. Incredible He's... from Noah! Just genius. Another... Clairvoyant play. Incredible How does he stuff. keep doing it? He sees the game on dimensions we could not possibly dream of understanding. I've never seen anything like it, Tylak, though. Someone that can just see so far into the future. He's the prophet. He is the catalyst. He is everything right now. Not just steps ahead, but... Oh, oh. It's okay, okay, I've, now. I've lost, He's I've trying lost, it for himself. I've lost my we've, of we've, we've, <laughs> we've, we've sniffed too much flex glue. We've got, we're seeing Martians. We have oh no idea goodness. what is going on. We have, <laughs> we have elevated ourselves to a different level of the game's plane. And now Razier's is a believer oh. in Noah's methods. I have no idea what is happening. But I will once again state the fact that my sheets are clean. Oh, it is no, two nil. Did you say and it? Noah is in control. We cannot... We cannot earn this heathen unwarranted, as I will dismiss you from our household. Noah, <laughs> to try and dismiss the defender, is not to be found in the final 70. It's still 2-0, but the play off the wall. Edgeby, pop over another. Oh, Luis will not no! be able to hold. The sheets are stained as we are back at a one-goal advantage. Oh, goodness me. The bump from Edgeby. A little bit too much. It's got to, it's got to be said. It's got to be said. This, at this point, it's a cultural thing. I think we just don't we just don't have clean sheets. It's go away, Seamus. Please, no, Thank no, you. no. Okay, it's cultural. Last game, last game, their goal was immediately followed by a second off the kickoff. This needs Stop to it. remain that. Stop it! You, you were saying that I need to be muted earlier. Well, what, what do you mean? Like this is entirely your fault. I would like to ask Razier's what what was going on personally. Uh, this he's expecting a touch at a compact. It doesn't come, and then it's a it's a uh, backboard hit. But the difference being that, of course, you didn't actually get muted, so I can't be muted myself. It's two true, two again. But it wasn't and, my fault. Uh, this one was your fault. Our health insurance quote oh, is just never like going down. It. Uh, compact <laughs> nearly said some. Mean words <laughs> that were pr pretty unwarranted, it has to be said. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase to please leave our area. Thank you. Can we um, get a citation <laughs> on that? Yeah.
Oh, if we could that just break out of that also for half. a month, 12th, on, for the 7th. Luis, slip reset. The slip reset. Boom. He finds yes. it. Incredible. Oh, 16 seconds remaining. We needed to go ahead right then and there. Noasaki was mm. learning, lurking for insurance. But it doesn't matter. We've not paid our premium. We're that confident that no accidents are going to be made, apart from the ones that did soil our sheets earlier and with regularity. Yep. But apart from those accidents... We didn't put in a claim for oh, those. It doesn't bumping. count. Go away! Because winter sports aren't included. Edgeby can't fine. be stopped, except by Luis, the man who's making the difference. Again, is game five calling? Game five is ringing. Pick up the phone, because I don't want it to down. go through the answer machine. Yes. We're there. One game to decide oh. it. It's fine. Will it be game five, the first of the clean it sheets? Is. I don't know, and I don't oh, care at yeah. this point, because it's cultural. It's cultural. We we score, we get scored upon, but eventually we come through and we win, even if it's in the last minute, even if it's Luis P again and again and again coming through clutch. But now I want to see some clutchness from the other lads. It is game five. The pressure is on. The hardest part of the reverse sweep is upon us, and that is closing it out and like i said i the podcast the the tiktok that was released yesterday saying tadpole wants this entire roster to step up and say i am him in the big moments this entire team razier's noasaki and louise p to be the player the player to step up and say i'm gonna take over this game we've seen it by a player here and a player there but we've not seen the whole team pop at the same time and i'm saying now is the time Luis has been him his play at its best this series has been better than anyone else on the field you saw there in that interlude Jeff turning around checking out a piece of that player and what he's bringing to the field he's back on the ball again months he's got zero boost and yet I would expect fast forward to still be scared because Razier's with the cut he's got them playing on strings and if the nerves get the better of fast forward we could pull away with this fast the difficulty being is the expectation now in our side of the court it is such an emotionally volatile fifth game with stakes that need no introduction a pop there from Luis he's alone and there's a pass and goodness me he's just about made a save and kept that clear but it is high stakes it is high pressure let me remind you, chat, that teams, big names with big players in them have fallen to the wayside oh. in this qualification. This isn't even the main event. This is just the qualifier, and it is wild out there. There are some teams that I feel like, or some players that I feel like, haven't missed a, a main event for years, and they will not be seen in that next weekend competition, and we do not want to be there with them watching from the sidelines we want to be the you ones don't mean being the, watched the... yes yes what? we do yes in, like, i just wanted to make sure you were alluding <laughs> to the swift stage of eu qualifier 2 yes. for major, major one, one. <laughs> Yeah. Of RLCS Thank you. 2024. Just, I just wanted to clarify that and carry on. <laughs> Which one we were talking about. Yeah, no, the, the whole point is like we want to win, honestly. But if we don't win this game, we're out. And that kind of sucks, not going to lie. Don't uh, even talk about that possibility. Okay. I will mention that the sheets are currently clean. But thus, they are for both teams. What? Why? I, okay, it's a I'm stating thing. facts. I don't, I don't care at this point. I don't care at this, this point is? if the sheets oh. are dirtied. Because I it seems do. like, look, 100% of the times that we've won, it's when another team has scored against us. I'm just saying this that. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. It's fine. He okay, doesn't score those. Fine. Compact might. No, no way. No way. We're chilling. Back to you. Go on. You do Simas has been in the chiller after dominating the first two games of this series. Since then, it has been all Luis. But which player or players will it be to step up as we are already approaching the latter half of this fifth game? It's an important save at the far post from the Gritty Riz squad as it spills out to the far side of the field now. Edgeby racing, uncontested, compact, launching to Compact. It's such a launch, he can't even get on the end of it. So it's Razier's is to collect as it plays down from the ceiling. Oh. Luis with the fake, the catch! Edgeby just about holds. Oh, the angle! Compact with the follow-up. Seamass has jumped early so Luis can beat him. 
HP's in the way though. Razier's the flip, not helping, but the teammate will. Noah Saki pops it high, forces Compact to use some boost. He's boostless right now, but Edgeby the one relevant. Razier's oh, a little too heavy on the touch. He cannot keep control. We're past oh. halfway. There's two minutes remaining. Edgeby's caught it on his own goal line. The next goal might just win this game and put one of these teams into next weekend's Swiss bracket. Nowasaki's looking at his own goal line. That's going to bounce fine into the corner. We chilling out. I don't like they stole our boost, but we are going to push forward onto attack. Play the ball. All important playing of the ball in game five is the way that's the patch. Noah for the assist, but Luis ain't central enough to get around it. So Luis is up again for the block, but Compact will win it to the corner. Has to choose the boost as we will again play the ball, but it's dunked no. nearly on target. Razier's is back in time to get the ball away from that American department store as there is the block, but it's simply 50 onto the backboard as things slow down and Simas builds it back down from the ceiling downfield as he gets a third touch to annoy us all the way to our own backboard. Luis needs to use the resources to get it and we're already approaching the final singular minute now. Such a good dive from Noasaki there. Edgeby had a chance to put pressure on our defense. Nosaki shut that chance down, and we have the pressure now in the final minute. Razier's looking for a low 50, but there's two there to stop him. Nosaki takes over, but he just hands the possession alongside it. Oh, Compact has done well off his own backboard. We've got less than a minute, Tylak, though. Less than a minute, chat, to try to secure the clean sheet, something we've not done to this point. Trying to secure a game win. A solitary goal might be enough to do it, and we've got 30 seconds to force that goal or it's ot and i'm stressing steve i don't know I'm how this stressing. is gonna go Luis. Oh. razier's oh. is on the follow and there's two players caught at the front post call it three compact with an all important clear to buy critical time for fast forward as the pass, pass. out left the pass back oh. right too obvious telegraph as edgeby he's seen those papers before he gets the intercept as game five overtime do be looming but noah still be on the ball and has to play it right because the 50 okay, is Luis. central it's cushioned down oh, but no, two are up what? it may be kept Why? and kept up it is because oh. there's the drop there's the shot intercepted by noah and overtime game five will be when this showdown is settled Ambition admirable, but a double commit nearly costing us. And oh my goodness, I thought it was a kickoff goal, but it's not to be as compact misses that. He's got to play that back to the corner. And Simas is waiting. He'll be chilling. He's got enough boost in the tank to take this across his backboard. Finds a demo as well. This is dangerous. Compact lurking. Luis P also. He's going to have a second bite at the apple. That's oh! an open net if he can put it low. He can't get it past the defenders who do scramble back. Noasaki off the ceiling. He's got a flip. But can't use it in time to challenge. Razier's alone for now, but Luis P and Noah picking up boost and waiting. Trying to find a way through. They're going to have to defend first. One to pass, and now just Simas in the way. He does well, and he takes all the pace off the ball in a high-pressure situation. And it's going to come back down our end. We need to defend this, Tylacto. This is it. The next goal will decide both of these teams' fates. Ceiling down. All important read. It's on target. It's in. And it's despair. Clean sheet evaded <laughs> once more. At this point, it does seem like a cultural thing. It has to be said. Oh, that hurt. That hurts a lot. What a series, though. It has to be said. Oh. Uh. Po okay, positive, Steve. Positives. Comeback ability. We did it. We we made a comeback. We, we almost couldn't... did it. We not well, we, the comeback was you know, we came back. We just didn't get ahead. I can sign my, my arms off, but it doesn't I'm matter until feet. I put my pen to the paper. And we, we had the biro. We yoinked it off the bank account's ah! desk. We didn't sign the check. Oh. And to do it like that, where the paper gets ripped up in front of us by ourselves, <clears throat> is despair. Now, there is some incredible play that we have seen this afternoon. But to be rewarded with that Game 5 overtime goal for a loss to not make the Swiss stage is a bullet or two or three
straight to the gut. And I yeah. can't I can't feel positive positive about that right now just yet. That I, is I tried. brutal for us, for the fans, for the players. It felt it felt inevitable. It felt inevitable. Coming back from from match point, forcing OT in game five, all we needed to do was find a goal. Something we've not struggled with all day long. We've conceded a lot of goals. We've also scored a lot of goals, Steve. We have. Couldn't couldn't find one just there. That sucked. <laughs> I am in <sighs> physical pain. There are still yet games running in the bracket. Ultimately, our bracket run has finished. We will have to wait to qualifier three for EU qualifier three for major one of this first split of the season. I am happy, regardless, that we went on this journey this evening. Not all stories have a happy ending, but some of the most popular stories of all times our tragedies months and that is unfortunately what we've witnessed today it has and look it has to be said it feels like one of the most difficult qualification brackets to have run through ever yep. um this 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 reminds me of <laughs> and actually it's not the most difficult qualification bracket ever because Resolve has the title of most difficult qualification bracket ever, and that was event number one, the inv invitational qualifier where we had to play seeds one through five in EU. But yeah. this felt like a pretty close second. And it, if I'm actually, no, uh, this is a close qualifier level. So yeah, I equivalent stage, it's rough out there. It's rough. We've had some unlucky qualifying runs, and this bracket was incredibly difficult. It has to say this seeding system is garbage <laughs> certainly we've seen it better we've seen it better the guys will take it on the chin they will only blame themselves but after last week's disappointment one that is of a different magnitude is awfully difficult to take on the chin i'm expecting us to roll in to qualifier three with jaw lines straight out of the apocalypse and ultimately that is what can pull a roster together and that's trauma bonding. I feel like we've had that today because it's been rough. Um, and now, interestingly, I'm having a look at our production chat. Usually, you don't do interviews after a loss. Uh, but one Mr. Jeffrey, Chief Operating Officer, or also known as... The boss is going to join us momentarily. I believe he's jumping onto Tadpole's PC and uh, he's going to slot into Tadpole's interview spot. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Chat, if you've got any questions, I'm sure Jeff would love to answer them. Unless he's potentially just hopping on to have a good old rant, which I'd be down for as well. That could be fun. Um, yeah, but yeah. Upper bracket games like RFN against Belly Goal to make the regional. Lower bracket qualifications like RFN against Oida or Hosky sweeping Billsbergs. You know, these these are these are the contrast to lower bracket round three, not even four games. Uh, the likes of Grid Serve against Moist. Um, and then you also um, look at Carmine the... versus Wild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you do. Now, obviously, upsets cause these, but these shouldn't be so easily uh, created in their lopsided nature. Caliente, Alas. no capo. Here we are. Yep, whiskey drink, Sizen and Growly will cruise through after beating Devoof and Scream. Which is, you know, fair play to them. But I'm sure their lucky stars were counted for that to happen. <sighs> a whole lot of lucky stars. Goodness. Solary Endpoint still ongoing. If anyone's got an update, throw it in the chat. I'd love to know it. In fact, I'm going to open their stream and look at it as well. Oh, we won't wait for Nose. one Mr. Jeffrey to get in. Indeed. And point one. Indeed. Good on them. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, check in with the uh, K Corp. Uh, that's all I've got. It's just. Uh... K Corp are in overtime to try and sweep the series. They're 2 0 up. That's what I'm seeing. 
Jeff has joined the. Looks like. Relevant link. Pat might be joining as. as no, well, that's Jeff instead, on or? his on his PC. Ah, okay. I see. I don't even know what I want to know. I don't even know. I'm what here I to listen. Want to know? You're here to listen. Yeah. All right. Who didn't make it? Who's not made it? That's what I want to know. Moist. Moist didn't make it. Solary have not made it. One of Carmine Wild and Wild won't be make it. Won't make 100 percent didn't make it, having made it last time as well. That's crazy. Mm. Good on Team Hosky for going through over Bill Bill's Bergs. Hey, Chippy Billy and Trebler's not an easy team to beat. Absolutely not. So. They've done. They've done well. It's not quite Who moist. Who is the Yappy before, Nappy? That's a good question. <laughs> that I've opened answer. the roster and it's it's not making anything more clear. Stayed. What a run for Stayed this is. Haven Solid. I don't even know Bolt. That's saying something. Yeah. Um, the fact they're playing Oxygen is hilarious because they could probably beat Oxygen who have such a losability in games like this. Let's bring Jeff in. Let's do it. There he is. Hello. Hello, Jeff. Hello. I don't know if you heard, but I don't know what I want to know. Do you have anything you would like to say? I, if he does have anything he'd like to say, we can't hear him. That's true. Um, oh, we did then. Maybe just get close to the microphone. Or bring the microphone to you. I think might be the play. Yeah, we can yes. hear you now. Go on then. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to talk. Uh, oh, we can't hear you on stream. Apparently, we can hear you, but uh, the, the stream mm. can't. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna try and find find a uh, a question. Make some noises, by the way, Jeff. Yeah. Um. So, while Jeff's trying to resolve those issues, let's 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 summarize the day. Seeding is the elephant in the room. Um, but apart from that, I don't think we necessarily lost to anyone that we shouldn't lose against. Apart from perhaps fast forward. Have you got um, me? I got but I would like us to see us winning yeah. those. Deble if that makes debatably, sense. the way that Top Cougars were playing, of course, and in particular, Acro. But, you know, if we can't be beat a Top Cougars playing well, how do we beat a top team playing well? Is the sort of question to ask. Now, it's like yeah. the difference between scrims and finding the pacing, even to be like an 8 out of 10 during the series, is the critical question here. Because a lot of the time we watch, it feels like we're playing a bit like a 5 that can dip anywhere between a 3 and a 7 during the series now during that potential reverse sweep that so nearly was it felt like we were at a seven pushing an eight like some of the best we've seen out of the team to then lose on a somewhat to be honest against a run of play freak of a goal in game five overtime is a bit of a nightmare and uh indeed we may have resolved our tech mishaps <laughs> correct hats <sighs> with jeff can you hear us all good yeah i've got you yeah you got me now Right, we I mean, do. I can hear we you. do hear you. Sweet, loud, and clear. We were just saying about that, kind of against the run of play goal in game five. I mean, I don't know if you yeah. talk about that last series specifically. I think a lot of the stories is how we got to that series. But you know, where do you feel like this leaves us in a situation for qualifier three? Like the main lessons from that series, other than that, you need better health insurance. <laughs> yeah, my heart is going a million miles an hour all day today, so it's um. It, it, I, I don't think people are, like really appreciate like when it's your team like how how nerve wracking that is. Um, it's yeah, it's 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 uh, an interesting feeling that's for sure. But you know, I think um, Top Cougars always kind of a bit of a bogey team for us. Obviously, we know Acro and Toxic really well. We trialed them a lot during the off season. Um, and I think part you know to be to be honest, I think part of that is. Because we, we want to beat them because, you know, they're ex-teammates and things like that. So um, whether there's an element of overplaying uh, there, I'm not sure. Um, 
But yeah, we, we started all right in that series as well. Came out one game one and then just, uh, I don't really know. They grew into the series, but it was what it was. Um, and then the lower bracket didn't look so bad until everybody else lost. Um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, the, the egg game's fine. Take those all day. The moist game, we were, even in the upper bracket, I think everybody kind of was more confident. If we got through top Cougars, we knew we'd beat moist. Um, mm. not that Moist were there anyway in the end, but, um, yeah, Moist was comfortable. Um, I, I feel, I feel for Joyo at the minute, he's literally got a 1v3 or they, they don't win the series. Um, he's a fantastic player though. Holy, holy moly. Uh, that kid when he's got the ball in the air, he's scary. So, um, but yeah, good series. And then, uh, then this one just, we started way too slow again. But, we're just way too nervous. We we should have come out confident, you know, given that we just we just three one moist and they didn't look like a competition at all. But we just came out very very nervous. Um, didn't really get into it until Tad literally like game three uh, was like, boys, do you you know do you do you want to go home? Like, <laughs> do do you not want to play next weekend? And and then we kind of brought it back. But then I think game five is always going to be nervous for both teams and. Um, like you say, just a game five overtime comes down to one goal, and it's just unfortunately a a very lucky goal for them. Really, just just a you know good positioning and, and what have you. We conceded way too many kickoffs goals the whole series, though. Like I, I'm pretty sure game one and two, I, I I don't know how many kickoff goals they scored, but it was a lot. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's it's really tough. Um, obviously, the lad lads are gutted. It was just silence in here as soon as that goal went in and then yeah everyone's kind of just disappeared now i think um, well the only reason it wasn't yeah. silent on here is because we're the only ones here to make noise yeah. <laughs> all i wanted yeah. to do was just be like just cry <laughs> it's, it's, i mean it's wounding because let's be honest it was solary us solary moist top cougars how how in god's name that it, is it, it's, all in the it's same so bracket. difficult i hate it so much when it's like this when it when you feels like you have valid excuses when there's so much to complain we can't, about we, we can't make excuses hard, so either we exactly. just didn't we just didn't play yeah. well enough because of nerves like but yeah. you know even for moist the fact that we're playing each other and we've not moist out like what how are they getting knocked out at this stage of the competition and it's not there's even no a qualification match yeah exactly like, like yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb it's so dumb. And I said even before, like I was in chat before, and if we're, you feel bad for Moist because why are we playing each other um, at that point? It's it's just it's just stupid. You can you can understand for a qualifying match, obviously, but yeah, I don't know. I hate this format. I hate this format with a passion. Open qualifiers are stupid. All we do is beat teams tw twenty nil in best of threes, and then for for what purpose? Who is that fun for? It's not fun for us. It's not fun for them. It's just it's it's. For I'm trying not to swear, but it's not very good. Um, and and then yeah. you know, day three should have just been Swiss. Why did we not have Swiss again? Um, for day three, an actual it, it seeding. It wouldn't even be, be that good. bad if yeah. we just had seeding. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody, Any, at si yeah. if somebody at Blast or you know Epic or someone just hire Tylacto again, please. Like this is a, it's it's not a, it's a yeah, shambles. I can tell you for a fact, it's not a lot of. Uh, it's not a lot of budget allocation to have a seeding committee that lines up the bracket in, you know, there are definitely ways that teams can argue and say they could be flipped around. But when you've yeah. got teams like out of the, in the wrong packet of like eight teams, then that's talk? when it affects. Yeah. Well, we've played matchups we've played and that's happening. Three effectively top 16 teams today. Top Cougars are definitely a top 16 team. Moist are definitely a top 16 team or a top eight team. Um, yeah. And then fast forward, we're, we're good last regional. Like, uh, so credit it's credit, credit really to them as well. Like yeah. Crispy and Simas, obviously, before last regional, hadn't won a, a, a series in in RLCS. So mm. so fair play to them. Like they're, yeah. they're they're looking a lot better. But you know, how do we? How are we all so, in the same bracket? A, you have a look at some of some other parts of the bracket. Sword. Yeah, this is yeah. what I mean. Like a qualify. It's actually kind of annoying both ways. Now I'm sure they'll absolutely take it. But a qualifying game between RFM and Oida. Like Neon, Rexo, and Fabzo against Eugene, Jazzy, and Yukio <laughs> as a qualification game. When the round before you've got Gridserve Resolve 
against Moist. You've got And it's like, <laughs> it's almost an asterisk on them because when they say they make the Swiss stage, everyone will be like, oh yeah, but look at your bracket. And it's like, <laughs> and, and again, Moist like, doesn't feel the same. Yeah, the bo bottom part of the bracket, you know, you've got you've got teams that we beat literally in the same part of the bracket. Stella Young Guns, Billsbergs and Team Hosky and Team Hosky Billsbergs, that's a qualifying game. Like, it yeah. just it just seems wild to me. And then you've got so Harmin strange. and Wild again, two so top sixteen teams. You've got Solary Endpoint. <laughs> Solary, I feel really sorry for because they've been screwed two weeks on the bounce. Like, yeah. yeah, but I don't know. It's a mess. It's a mess. And obviously everybody's wounded at the minute. Um, obviously changes our plans a little bit this week um, in terms of like what we're going to be doing, what we're prepping for, etc. Um, well, everyone's just going to go and chill for now, and then. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss it afterwards. But it's just, obviously, we we had such high. I think everybody on the team, and you know, obviously, you guys know, like you you were up here. You talked about we, we talked about this team being able to compete for majors. But the problem is, when we play good teams, we play very well against Moist. You know, uh, teams that we consider like top six teams or whatever in scrims. These teams don't beat us ever. Like we we're clean sweeping scrims and stuff, but the nerves are just absolutely ruining us. Um, and yeah, we, we if we can't solve that, then this is what's going to keep happening. So yeah, that's on us to solve, I guess. Yep. I reckon I reckon that might be it. I think that's a good place to end. Yeah. I reckon that's enough said. Yeah. Um, look, that last series was very fun until it wasn't. So there's yeah. at least that. <laughs> we yeah, had a good, we true. had a good ten, twelve minutes. I'm not minutes sure so. I enjoyed any Rocket League today, but yeah, okay. <laughs> My series was nice actually. That was a good yeah. series. Yeah, yeah, that was that was chill. That was yeah. vibey. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Um, yeah, but it takes a lot of character to come and talk to us after a day as difficult as today. So we and everyone really appreciate that. Ultimately, you know, it's still an honor to be bringing this evening and this broadcast to everyone, and we hope everyone enjoyed the audience and show that was put on by the team and everyone. So thanks for joining us, Jeff. Yeah, anything else you got to say, Mance? Nah, I'm good. I'm done, oh, I bye. reckon. Jeff, oh, oh, he's got, <laughs> yeah, he's got no. a little wave in. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. This, this, this was hurty. This was, ma this made me sad, but uh, I think we'll push through it and we'll see you in a couple weeks, I reckon. Um, yeah, I reckon we cut it here. We'll Let's catch you next time. Oh, no, not yet. Now we'll catch you next time. Yeah, we will.